Good morning. So, we got a new mod. I kind of looked around a little bit, but not much. Well, it's... Oh, God. It's so many mods. It's um, a mod collection by the same guys that made Colonial Charter. It includes everything that Colonial Charter had. Plus, I couldn't even tell you. Probably, it looks, the list looks like about a hundred other mods. So, I need to start a new game. See, I think I want you up here. I want you down here. I do have a, a little colony that I had started yesterday. Uh, just to kind of look around. And I've got kind of an idea of... Um, you know, what houses I want to use and a little bit of an understanding of all these different options, but not many of them. There's just so much to it. These are our new civic buildings. Like, these are all just wells. Good morning, Dom. Welcome back, man. How you doing? Yep, we're going back to Banished. It's been a long time got um, I think two or three days that we messed around with it. The first day was vanilla. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be, but it was. Then the second day we tried out Colonial Charter, and now we're going to try out Mega Mod, which has everything that Colonial Charter had plus a boatload more. So it should be kind of fun. There's just so many freaking options. Last time I uh, tried this one, I built the grammar school. So I want to look into the schools a little bit more. Look at all the health buildings. And this is one of the things that I don't really know what I'm doing with. So, like, this guy would be the vanilla herbalist. And I have no idea what the hell the difference between that and the other ones. <laughs> Got to play foundation? Nice. I can't wait to get a shot at it myself. It looks really good. I'm glad that you're liking it. Really does look like it's going to be a great game. How, um... How far do you think they are away from finishing it? We've got a little, um... Uh, river that runs down just... One, um, third of the map. And then we got a huge lake over here. And we started right above the lake. So I'm kind of trying to think, like... I'm pretty sure that I want to expand this way. Uh, but I'm also thinking about going for some fishing stuff down this way, too. Long way? Oh, that sucks, man. Hopefully it won't be too long. Hopefully it's not one of those eight-year projects or, like, door fortress. <laughs> think they'll add a lot more features? Good. I hope so. Ruins made for scavenging. I don't know what that means. Let's take a look at them. Huh. An abandoned place. And it's under uh, resource production, so I don't know. Maybe that's how you get like native artifacts or something like that. Which I still can't remember what you do with them. <laughs> Fodder farms, garden walls, fodder farmers. Haystacks for animal fodder for all the winter. Shit, do I need hay? Here and there. Yeah, Daisy standalone. Didn't that one finish though? That one wasn't in development as long as some games. Okay, grows dense trees to harvest, I can understand. But what the fuck? Grows stones. Grows iron. <laughs> grows coal. Yeah, so we won't be using that. Flax gatherer. Hmm. Interesting. There's still so much that I haven't even looked through. I haven't got that far in it. Well, let's get these guys going. I'm going to stick with um, kind of the same farm configuration that we were using before. I think I want a main road this time. And then I want their houses and then I want their fields. I'm kind of thinking... I think I might do farms out this direction. 
and forestry stuff up and then over so that we can have two of them. Hunters, gatherers, all that good stuff. Then pastures down to the south. And then as we expand over to the west, we'll put in all of our, um, all of our wood stuff. But we're going to start working our way that way first. So, I think I'm going to make them wait on the housing so that we can get our farms in as quickly as possible and hopefully get a harvest this year. Yeah, and then we'll do a gatherer and a hunter. There's a bunch of different options for both, so we'll kind of look through them a little bit. So a crop field or a village crop field. Difference looks like you can go with a larger size on a village crop field. I think we'll stick with the regular one. Oh, you don't have Banished? Definitely a good game. Really a pain in the ass, though. <laughs> it's really difficult. 8x14, is that what we were doing the other day? I didn't get to play it at all on my birthday yesterday, but... I still can't remember for sure what we did. One, two... Eight by fourteen. Actually, I guess I did get to play a little bit yesterday. So I'm kind of thinking... With these little storage barns. Because they're really cheap. Let's see if I can find them. These little guys can hold a hell of a lot of stuff. There's an even smaller one, I think. So if we wanted to, we could put those in between where we have to have it too wide for roads that'll go to the next row of uh, crops. I hope so. I would really like to play NO1800 when it comes out. I'm definitely excited to at least watch some uh, some streams on it, even if I don't get an uh, don't get an opportunity to play it. But it sure does look good. Hmm. Trying to see if there were any even smaller ones, because I may just cancel these and move them back a little bit so that the barns can go right up on the front. <laughs> Oh, and I, I gotta cancel it anyway. I didn't leave room for the homes. So when it comes to homes, I like these red ketchup um, little houses. They have a, a downstairs, which is just kind of its own house. And then you can also go with an upstairs that you kind of build over the house. But I don't think I want to do paths quite yet. I just want these in for placeholders, and then we'll probably pause them. So, what we've just placed here is four homes in that much area. Because it's a separate home upstairs and another home downstairs. really love that. There we go. I don't want them to build the homes quite yet. So I'm going to pause them. We definitely want to build the homes, but not quite yet. First priority is food. Okay, it looks like I lined that up just fine. Okay, so I'm thinking a crossroad here, one here. So I want this guy to be 8x14 right on the edge there. And then I want to skip two spots and do our next one. And same over here. Uh, we started with two different kinds of seeds. I'm not going to do the orchard quite yet. I want them to clear all that out before we really do anything. 
So let's speed up time here a little bit. Poor guys leaving them homeless. But we start out in early spring and that's the planting season. I want to make sure that they get everything that we can planted as fast as we can. So what do we start out with? Oh, we got fucked. We started out with parsnips and blackberries. I guess it could have been worse. Uh, we started out with vegetable and a fruit. So if nothing else, at least we're covering two different food groups. But I don't believe that either of them are particularly uh, fast growing or able to, you know, stand up to the to the winter very well or anything. Like nothing, nothing really exceptional about either. I don't think. How's it going, Kalen? Oh, I'm a dipshit. I not only need to do that, I also need to assign a farmer. There we go. And I think while we have it open, let's assign a builder too. Just the one for now though. For the most part, we want everybody on labor. going to take him a little bit longer to clear these than I had hoped. Hopefully we'll still be in early spring by the time they finish though. That's the important thing. At least as far as I'm concerned, that's the important thing. Okay, and uh, I started out with parsnips over here. I want this one to be blackberries. Yo, Dom, what's up? Oh yeah, I threw a threw a photo down there just the I don't know maybe a week ago. Hadn't been down there very long. And then I want, I guess, parsnips again. Just go one, then the other, all the way across. So I use these as placeholders, and I think I'm going to leave them in. I'm just going to leave them paused. Now it's time to uh, put in just a couple more. I want the farmers to, um, you know, easily be able to get to their farms. And I'm hoping, is that the right house? Yeah, it is. I'm hoping that we um, put you there. There. I might leave this one open. Hmm. Just so that we have a crossroad there. Yeah, let's go for it. And then everything will match up nice. Then I'm a yaw. Doesn't actually look like I left it open the way that I had thought, but that's all right. It'll be fine anyway, because I, I think that they can walk past their homes, uh, but I don't know for sure. And the whole reason that I put all those in was just so that I could pause them. There we go. Hey, thank you for the follow, Caleb. Welcome to the stream. Okay, everything's paused. <laughs> Just because I'm not sure if I want to go and add barns. I know if nothing else, though, eventually, I am going to want some of these little fillers on the back side of the houses. Uh, these little uh, veggie and fruit barns don't hold much, but... They do relieve some of the pressure on this, and we would have started to build up our stockpiles of food as fast as possible. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, what's up, Jax? Doing pretty well. How are you doing? Look at all these fucking barns. And then eventually... I'm hoping that we can save up... I didn't actually finish it in my, uh, in my other playthrough. 
It's like a tithe barn. There we go. Look at the size of this bad boy. Mm. But I never did finish it. I need a smelter before I can actually do it because we don't actually mine iron anymore. We mine iron ore. So that's a thing. All right. Just because of the spacing here, I'm actually kind of tempted to put our forestry stuff here and then we would have a path that goes through it to get to our waterfront. But I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think it would leave enough room for everything that we want. Well, hopefully you'll find an adequate replacement when you're ready. Sorry to hear about that. Small covered yards. What the hell? Oh my god, there's just so many options. Wow, and a warehouse has 90,000 capacity. So our barn. I think our barn has 5,000. I'm not sure. We're about 28% full, so it might be 6,000. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> no fucking idea. So our next step, let's get in just the placement for the forestry buildings. And we'll start to build our um, our homes. I want to leave this far enough inward so that it's not going to conflict with um, any of the stuff that we'll build on the waterfront. So I was hoping to come up and then split these off so that we had two of them, kind of the same distance apart from one another. I think I want to leave more room in there for um, uh, for ranches on the other side, for pastures, I mean. I'm gonna try to line this up without the, without the road. We'll see how it goes. And the hope is that I've got that lined up properly so that um, the road will go in here. Nope, I fucked it up. Okay, so road first this time. Cancel you. I wanted them to build that before they built the road, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out for me. You can just go all the way up to there. And I want to leave enough room, if I line that up right, I want to leave enough room so that our woodcutters are right down here. Oh wait, no I don't. I definitely do not. Hmm. Because we want to use a water um, powered sawmill, don't we? Yeah, it fit right in, I guess, huh? Oh. This is kind of neat, though. So, even though we are playing Banished for sure, um, the mod that we're using kind of changes like the main story of the game and the way that you need to play it because you're not really a, uh, a group of people that were banished anymore. You're a colony that's being set up by a government. And so we're going to have a lot of buildings that will allow us to interact with that government. At least economically. I haven't really made it far enough in this game. Even previously when I played it the first time, I didn't really make it far enough to... Uh, be able to speculate on what the end game or some of the later game stuff is. But I know that we'll get there eventually. And then before I build the forester, I think I actually want the gatherer and the hunter. I want to really focus on food. I don't know where the fuck they are though. There we go. And we should probably look through some of these different options. It is. It is definitely called Banished. So this is the vanilla one, I'm assuming. We can do a tiny hunter. Oh, look at those. A tiny hunter. We can do whatever the hell that is. And then we also have old hunting cabins. And I had seen these before. They, look, they actually look kind of neat. So let's take a gander at this. Old hunter cabin. 
that's not where we're going to put it, but that's an easy place for us to be able to see it. Then an old hunter residence. So he's got his own, like, house type. Assuming that's the front. And then a new hunter cabin. Oh, this isn't the one that I was thinking of. I apologize. Um, I thought that there was one, maybe just one of these, that had additional options for expansion later on. I'm not sure. Let's cancel all that shit. Could have been a different type of cabin, too. Because I thought that the uh, you could build the, his house, like, up above the uh, the hunting lodge. But that must be a different resource, or I'm just tripping. Hunt with hunting gear. Small radius. But we have to be able to build hunting gear first. So, I'm kind of thinking, again... I know, not my strong suit. <laughs> kind of thinking that I want uh, this as close to the water as possible, even though it won't be quite as efficient, because we can only plant so close to the water. That way our logs can be stored in town for building, and we can also have another stockpile that's fairly close to it um, for firewood, because that's going to hopefully this time be one of our main exports. So, how big is that Forester Lodge's radius? I want to go back over to resources. And this. Because I might change our minds. And just put it right in the middle on this main road. That wouldn't be too bad of a deal. And I'll still probably have one up north, too. This one mainly for firewood, though. Uh, so I may still do the hunting lodge up here. Because I know that we're going to want two uh, two hunters and two gatherers. Not right away, but eventually. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. And this is the, um, this is the stock hunting cabin. Yeah, I think I might just leave him f for wood gathering. So then let's go over to our chopping options. I didn't see it in here. Oh no, do I not have the chop um the sawmill? Pretty easy to identify. It's got a big fucking saw blade on it. There she is. So we could do a lumber yard. Almost as fast per worker as the regular sawmill, but only allows up to two workers. Uh, we can do a proper sawmill. Very fast work speed. Uses up wood logs quickly. And it doesn't look like that one actually needs to go out on the water. Let's see if I can find a flat spot so we can just take a look at it. And then we have the water wheel. Sawmill. Up to three cutters, very fast work speed. This one will produce lumber or firewood and allows up to three people to work. Hmm. I think they're actually pretty similar. Lumber or firewood. Used to make lumber. Brickworks. Yeah, let's stick with it. I like it. I like the water wheel one. I'm going to put that right at the end of the road that we put in. Well, maybe. If I can figure out a way for it to fit. There we go. That just barely works. Send our dirt road straight out. Okay, back over to harvesting stuff. Uh, we are in harsh winters. So that's why I kind of want to get this in fairly quickly. And I'm going to pause the Forester Lodge here. And then I'm going to put all of our gathering stuff up uh, up here. And another uh, person collecting logs. Another forestry thing eventually. 
Rose hips and oats gathering place. I don't think we need that, but we do want a gatherer for sure. Should we try one of the new ones? We have the default one, which is 48 logs and 16 stone. This is fewer resources to put in. And village, uh, village forest food gathering. Small, medium, and large radius options. Employs gatherers to collect wild foods, roots, berries, mushrooms, and onions. So if we were to go for the large one, we could employ up to five gatherers in one... Um, in one little hut. And they're actually fairly inexpensive. I don't know if heat's something that you have to worry about. Uh, I think it rains and it snows more often on Harsh. Oh, it's tiny. Let's do a comparison here. So the edge of the radius of this, when it's on uh, just this side of that field, it's pretty much right in front of this side of our storage thing. If we were to go with the default one. Oh, wow. That's totally a better deal. Well, let's do it. Hopefully it doesn't need anything else. It certainly doesn't say that it does. And we can build that across the uh, the road here. So just throw that up there. I did. I played a little tiny bit of Frostpunk, and it was really good. Uh, definitely a game that I need to go back and revisit. So I'm looking for kind of an equivalent to this for hunting. We've got that one. Let's look at radiuses here. So that, if I put it right in the middle of the far side of this stockpile, that'll take the radius over to the edge of the second field. Looks like the tiny hunting cabin is basically the same. Uh, but the default hunting cabin seems to be a little bit larger. So let's go with that. And then I think I'm going to wait for the Forester Lodge up there for now because I don't think we need it right away. So the next thing that we're going to, well, hopefully, let me pause these just to make sure. Next thing that we're going to actually complete should hopefully be the um, sawmill. We'll get them working on it. See where, how we're doing on resources. We need 80 logs, we have tw uh, double that. We need 30 stone, we have triple that. We're good to go. We just need them to bring everything over there. And they're also going to be working on the uh, on the, the roads too. Then after we get this in, I want to start getting the houses up. It's only spring. We're not in too much of a rush. But while we have all these laborers, I want to at least pound out the first of our houses. So I think I want to build this one first. And this one's second. That'll give us four of the five that we need. And then I'm going to build a separate house out here. For these dudes. It'll be two homes. One on the top and one on the bottom. So we'll go there. really difficult to line any of this stuff up without being able to see. There we go. And a home up on top of that one. Now we'll pause those for now. So while they're bringing resources over, our builder is working on the uh, paths that we laid down. So hopefully everybody will... Uh, move a bit quicker, a bit more quickly. Then, um, how are we looking on our total professions here? We have seven laborers at the moment. Okay, so I think I'll finish the resources stuff first. Then we're going to put in our school. We're going to put it in right away. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the one year is one year mod to um, to work without a conflict. So that sucks. But we'll see how it goes. I was trying to click on one of these guys and it didn't want to let me. There we go. Ten-year-old laborer. Poor kid. All right, we got all of our resources in. Crank that up to three and get working on the next thing. Just gonna be our houses. So 32, wait, 32 logs for the upstairs home, 24 for the downstairs, and then 18 total on the stone. So we need to have our laborers gathering um, a whole boatload of stone and cutting down some trees. Finish both of those. A hunting cabin and the gatherer. Cool. We have a bull load of trees. I mean, he'll replant what we cut down, but I'm wondering if that might not just be a little bit silly. Like, maybe I should clear this way first. Yeah, probably should, at least for now. If I can figure out how to cancel, there we go, cancel removal. So that'll be fine. His radius comes up just about up to this third field here. There we go. And I just want him to clear some of this out. Then on top of that, we're going to need a buttload of stone. And I want to clear it out from where the forester is first. And a little bit of iron, too. This is just iron ore. We need a um, some sort of a smelter before we can go any further than just um, ore. Some of our recipes only require ore, though. So I just have to keep an eye out for what requires iron ore and what requires uh, iron ingots. Hey, how's it going, card toys? We're getting ready to die, man. First summer. We're looking okay on the food, though, with our three little fields. It's, uh, gonna get a little hairy once we start to hunt and need, uh, clothing, though. We need to get a blacksmith in. Hmm. So I wonder if we should do the school after we do the blacksmith and the weaver. I don't know. I can't decide. Good morning, Lifebreaker. Uh, there was a little update in between the last time that I played. I haven't played in years, though long long time so the biggest change for me is uh the mega mod i've never played with the mega mod i haven't played with colonial charter before uh but the mega mod is just fucking huge it's like a hundred different mods i'm totally guessing it could definitely be more than a hundred it's like three full pages on a pdf list of uh what mods are included it's freaking impressive What's the deal over here? Hmm. Guess they decided to focus on this stuff first. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the hunting cabin, but I do want to pause the upper house.
Because I think if we put three people in that thing, and if we have the stockpile of logs fairly close to it, pretty sure that we can keep caught up through the whole winter with the water wheel sawmill. It's almost midnight there. No, it's morning. It's always morning. Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully we're going to a slightly earlier stream. Put in the bids. Just waiting to hear back. It, we're hoping to aim for like a 7 o'clock in the morning. Instead of a 3 or 4 o'clock at night. Uh oh. We need more stoners. We're getting low on the stone. It'll be a bit. I get, gave him a lot of tasks. How's that other house coming? Oop. Wrong one. I'm gonna go up to 10 times speed too. Sweet, okay. So that way we won't have any homeless families. Well, for a little while. <laughs> we'll see how we do on the harvest with um, blackberries and parsnips. We may have to put in another field. I was so stoked yesterday I started out with uh, wheat and corn. Not as good as beans. Neither of them are as good as beans, but they're both pretty good. Wrong thing. I want to make sure that somebody starts to chop uh, chop some wood. And then we want a stockpile here. Well, two different stockpiles. Uh, one of them just right out front for logs. I think it might just go one wide. One by six. And then another one for firewood. I think I'm just going to leave it right out here next to it. And I'm also tempted to uh, toggle the farmers off of picking up. What is it, autumn? Yeah. Let's toggle that off so that they'll get their harvest done for sure. Oh, shit. I say for sure, but I screwed it up. And then we weren't able to get that one last one on this one or this one, as far as I saw. So I'm just going to rotate the crops. And hopefully they won't um, neglect them next year. Parsnips in the middle and blackberries on both sides. All right, full on winter. Let's get a couple of people hunting. Oh shit, we're gonna lose somebody. Professions. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put both of these on or all five of these on building. We need them to finish that damn house before this family freezes to death. Might be too late. Oh no, we got it. Sweet. Hopefully they can get uh, some firewood up there. We are desperately low on firewood. Okay, so we can take this off of five builders. We'll go back to one. And I want this up to... the maximum amount of people working here. And I want to switch it over to firewood. Oh, Andy, we um, we switched up from Colonial Charter to the Mega Mod, so we started a whole nother map. I don't see anybody cutting down any fucking trees. I also need our priority tool. Make sure that we get this food off of the ground. Or at least, hopefully, we'll get the food off of the ground. First winter is always the worst. Hopefully, I didn't build uh, too big of a, a facility over here and just waste some, you know, too much time. 
Because if I built a smaller one, we wouldn't produce firewood as quickly, but we could have started producing it much uh, faster than we did. There we go. We're getting some logs in. I don't know. Just to give this thing a kickstart, I'm kind of thinking about cutting down a strip of logs right next to it, too. Because it is fairly far out there. Maybe an additional stockpile specifically for firewood over in this area. Um, maybe. I'm keeping an eye out for snowflakes. Did I go up to... No, I didn't. Let's go up to 10 speed. Since we're storing the firewood so freaking far away from our homes, I'm just a little bit worried about them, like, carrying it all the way over here and being able to continuously heat the, uh, the homes that are further in. I don't know. I think we're going to make it through the first one, at, at least through the first winter. And then when, um, when everybody finishes with the trees, hopefully we'll be back to springtime and we'll get our next, um, our next fields planted. We're getting real low on food though. 760 already. There we go, baby. Early spring. Goes so quickly on 10 times speed. About 10 times faster, really. Okay, so... I'm thinking about putting somebody on... Um, gathering. Yeah. For the food diversity. Then... We've got both hunters that live in here. Let's unpause the upper part of the house so that they can live right next to where they work. And then I want to go down to the warehouses. I'm going to see what we can find for just, um, just like wood, you know? I don't see any, like, specific ones in here. Storage yard. Log stone, iron fuel, and industrial fuel. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Hmm. So how big is a pile of wood? And why do you hold multiple different kinds? Oh, because instead of doing a... I had intended for this to just be a log stockpile, but I made it into a regular stockpile. That'd be why. Crap. Okay. And the downside of these, it looks like they use logs to build them. Let's give him one specifically for just logs, and we'll tear this one out in a bit. I don't want to interrupt what they're doing. Okay, so I'm not seeing any farmers coming out and doing work. I need to go over to here and cancel all this laborer stuff, and then we'll go and put it back in. I'm gonna cancel all that stuff. I need the farmers to stop being laborers for now and get out into the freaking fields. There we go. And we'll have to keep an eye on those. I, uh, I think just in case, since we were, since we were so low going through the winter there, um, I'm gonna put in a couple more fields. And I'm putting them over here because it's cleared out a little bit more. So it won't take the laborers quite as long to get them in. If they don't continue to harvest these, I want to make sure that we get these started 
for planting too. I rotated the crop so it should work but I don't know. A weird bug. So hopefully we've got enough coats to get through one more winter. Let's go over to refined goods. We're gonna want a tailor. Um, trying to decide if I want him to point one way or the other. I just mostly want to make sure that he's right alongside the um, the blacksmith, because in the beginning we'll rotate back and forth between one person working as a tailor and a blacksmith. Used to make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. We have a bunch of options here though. Tailor and company, we can't build that, we can't build that one, that one. Maybe we don't have a bunch of options. We could use a tannery. It'll take another person, but we could turn our... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, I was going to say we could turn our leather into cured leather, but we need salt for it. And we need water as well. Old Taylor Shop. Old Taylor Residence. Oh, nice. I love those. Where we can build the residence right above the um, facility. At least I think that's... Yeah. So it's like a two-part thing, and then um, you can't possibly live any closer to work than that, can you? That's what I was looking for in the hunter thing. Isley. <laughs> you got another one. Excellent. Share away. Share away. Thank you for the non-existent resub. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps giving those to you. That's all right, though. We like pop-ups. A village flag maker, a linen weaver. A village tailor for one to two tailors. Ooh, that's a fancy looking one. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go with the one that has the residence. We'll remove those. Seems to be the neatest one anyway. Put the tailor shop right in the middle of town. Actually, I could be more efficient about that placement, couldn't I? Cancel that. I was going to put the blacksmith right on the uh, other side of it. Where the freak are we going to be getting our first iron from? It's got to be out away from everyone. I think I'll actually put an open-faced one. Um, maybe a road going over here. We'll put it over here because um, hopefully that'll be far enough away that it won't interfere with any of these homes. And I believe it's got a radius on it. Not the blacksmith. I want the I want the raw resource, don't I? Because um, we do have one little hill over there, but the just the one. So we're likely looking at that stone and salt, something like this, the iron um, and coal mine. And that can go anywhere, it doesn't have to go on a hill, but that red ring around it is um, the radius of unhappiness that it's going to create. We don't want people living within that radius. Ship, put it, might just put it right up on the water. But I'm kind of undecided. An industry mine. Industrial thud, Searle, and family mine. Capable of extracting coal or iron. Employing 1 to 55 miners. Large production capability of 84,000 over the course of its life. Requires 165 work to build. And we need 89 monies. Otherwise, uh, lumber. We can produce lumber over here. The salt works. Precious mine. We've already seen that. Jade quarry, tin, tiny mine. I'm not sure what the limits are. It doesn't say what the limits are on that type of a mine. 
multi mine that can be removed. Gatherers. Hmm. Wow. So we do have a small mine, but the production limit is super low. 1200? Limit of production and will become derelict afterward. That's another thing that I'm trying to avoid. Stuff that we can't take away, you know? Tunnel mines? Those won't do us any good, though. Hmm. Yeah, that one's probably our best option probably throw it somewhere in here so if we're gonna do that the reason that I'm looking at mines now um, I kind of want to know where my blacksmith should go and I think I'm just gonna move it probably over next to the forester lodge so I wonder if we have one of these we do awesome we have one of these where we can build the uh, residence right up on the top. Yeah, we're running a boatload of mods. We're Well, it's one mod collection called Mega Mod. And it's fucking insane. Literally running hundreds of mods. <laughs> well, we definitely can't afford to build that one. And the only problem that I'm seeing with the old blacksmith, we're going to need a refiner, some sort of a smithy somewhere in that area too. Is it a foundry that we need? Well, the foundry is one of our options. Forge would be another option. Wow, blast furnace would be a hell of a good option, but super expensive. Crest Family Blacksmith produces iron, steel, and hardened steel tools and fishing gear. Village blacksmith. There's so many options. So the smallest one and the easiest one that we can do is going to be a small iron smelter. Apparently it's not all that efficient. City blacksmith we won't be able to build until we can figure out... Um, uh, what do you call it? I don't remember what those are called. Building material? I don't know. It looks like one big brick. And certain things just happen to require one. I don't know. I'm still tempted to go with the old blacksmith. So it doesn't have a ring around it, actually. I think I'll put it on the edge of town here. Probably. And then we'll still end up putting the... Um, Uh, the tailor right next door. So what the hell else do I want to put in here before I place these? Eh, fuck it. We'll just plan on a road being in here. We'll do the old tailor. And I think I need to leave it over one space. Yeah. And then there will be a residence on top of that one. For now, we'll do just a small smelter, and that one does have an unhappiness radius. And I'm just, so I'm just throwing it outside of town. That'll give us the iron that we need for the better blacksmith. Ye old blacksmith. Oh, darn it. Wrong thing. The, uh, that, the entrance for the home that goes over that blacksmith is on the other side. Okay. So we need proper iron for the tailor shop. We need proper iron for... The blacksmith itself. The residences, I don't think either of them uh, require it. 
We need stone. More than anything, really. To accomplish those, anyway. And how many workers do we have? We only have two laborers. We're gonna need one for these. Just one amongst the two of them. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave this field alone. Okay, good. We've still got people working on all three of these. So rotating the crops uh, is a, a decent workaround, or seems to be a decent workaround for that uh, bug, where if they don't get that last little bit of plants, then they'll they'll plant it, but then they just go off and do other stuff. They, they won't come over and harvest it, and it'll never get up to 99% yield. Fingers crossed, anyway. Hopefully it's going to work out that way. You're absolutely right. The reserve of stone is low. Grab the easy stuff first. Excellent. We got three full harvests. Uh, three full field harvests again. All right. And we're up to our uh, fuel limit. I'm going to bump that up just one but I want the extra laborers. I want the three guys that work out here to pound that out real quick. And then I want them to come and uh, help us gather up that stone. So I didn't bother to pause any of these because they'll be able to build the residences with the first stone that we get. We'll be able to get the logs and stone that we need for the blacksmith and the tailor shop. Um, and then we should be able to build the smelter. And then once the smelter is up, we'll throw uh, somebody in there to refine this iron ore into proper iron. And then that'll allow us to finish out these two shops. They're just slightly more advanced than, uh, than what we would no normally go for. How are we doing on wood? We're doing okay on wood. And only 113 ore, and may have them go and grab more ore for us to refine. Looks like we got all of our food in. And from looking around online, it seems like kind of the, um, the general guideline with that is one person will eat about 100 food throughout a whole season. So we should have enough food for 24 people right now. But we're going to be cutting it pretty freaking close, aren't we? Which is not ideal. But as long as we're not leaving it on the ground and we come out pretty close, I'll be happy. So I think next year we will probably uh, do another field. I'm just going to rotate these just in case. So you'll be blackberries and you'll be parsnips. Oh good, we got another uh, another child who's grown up and become a laborer. We're almost there on the smelter. I really like these circles that just indicate unhappiness that's produced by a building. It's super handy. So that I don't accidentally build any of that stuff in the middle of a town. Might still intentionally build something like that in the middle of town, depending on needs, but it's nice to have an indicator, you know? Doesn't look like we have any kids ready to move in. But we did finish... Um... Oh no, we finished the shop. How did we finish the shop? We just got the smelter up. I could have swore that we needed iron. Like proper iron, not iron ore. Okay. I'm just totally confused. How did we get 28 of 32 iron? We haven't had iron yet. That's my magic iron.
Huh. I do not know. We did finish the house, though. So I'm not going to unpause any of the rest of these homes since we're going to build two of them up here. The hell was that flash? Weird. Very strange. Yeah, I don't know. I don't don't understand. Because everything that we gather out here should just be iron ore until we run it through the smelter. Uh, and to do that, we need furnace fuel as well. Fuckles. So we could do a fuel refinery, takes burnable natural resources, and converts them into a hotter, more desirable form of industry. Uh, form for industry. Hotter and longer burning. Or we could do a char burner. It's going to use up our firewood to produce industrial coal. Workers can be, uh, be employed to produce four to five industrial coal from four firewood. That's a pretty good ratio, one to one. Makes furnace fuel. Only one worker can work here, and it's slightly less efficient than the larger fuel refinery per person. Hmm. I think I might aim mid-range here, but it's not telling me what I actually need. Oh, I don't need anything. I just have to clear out a spot. And then they go out and pile up a bunch of uh, firewood and um, burn it down into coal. Okay, let's get rid of that. And then the fewer finery is just logs and uh, stone. It's the most efficient way to do it. You might go for it. You get iron and iron ore from normal farming. Is that true? Hmm. I think I'm okay with it. Because out of these three options, I think that's the best way to go. Even though it's a little bit more expensive, it's really not that much more expensive than the small one, and it's more efficient, apparently. Ten extra stone and twice as much, uh, twice as many logs. That's not that bad. No, I'm gonna give them an order to just harvest some trees right next to this thing. And we'll unpause this soon as well. Yeah, even with only the three fields, we're doing pretty well on food. We ended up with a surplus of about 1,500 after the winter. We could pull somebody off of hunting, but I'd rather not. We're, we're going to have a hard time keeping up on um, the, what do you call it, the, oh, the leather that we need to make our coats. But I need to, I need to get this fucking blacksmith going. Which means I need to get the smelter going, which means I need the furnace fuel. Okay, we're doing pretty good on wood. Let's get that stone fast. Just gather it right next, from right next to uh, the fuel refinery that we want. And then once we get the blacksmith and the tailor in, I think we've got all the basics. So, we'll, um... Uh, we'll put in the school next, I think. I'm just really worried about our three freaking tools. Shit, was that not enough stone? Wasn't enough stone. Okay, gather that and all that too. All that if you need to. Did I leave anything else that uses or that requires stone unpaused? Doesn't look like it. So 
So we got more kids coming in. Totally cool with that. We'll get that school in and probably have um, hopefully about half a dozen students to start us out with. And then there's going to be a little bit of a gap there while they go through schooling. We're going to have kind of a lack of uh, ex uh, extra laborers, but we can use that time to kind of look through what our other options are down there. And the storage barn looks like it's doing just fine for now. 24% full and late summer getting ready to harvest. I know the, ref the supply of reserve tools is low. I'm fully aware. Let's bump that up. Since we're going to be using a lot more firewood now. We're getting there. We're almost halfway done. Come on, refinery. And normally I wouldn't put those right in the middle of a forest that we're going to harvest trees from, but I think it's going to work out pretty well. We'll get our trees from the logging company in here. They'll go over to here for firewood. The firewood will go into town and to the fuel refinery. And, uh, well, hopefully. <laughs> and then... Um, the blacksmith is also going to use those logs, so hopefully we've kept everything close enough. Well, there we go. We are out of tools. Awesome. So, we can make furnace fuel from firewood, fire bundles, charcoal, coke, or coal. And we want to make ours from firewood. I want to keep it fairly low, though. We're going to put one of our laborers, we're up to four, put one of our laborers in there working on furnace fuel, and then one of our laborers over here on the smelter. And he won't be able to do jack shit for now, but that should give us that last bit of iron, and then we'll, um, we'll assign a blacksmith. Yeah, we're all out of tools. Hey, nice. We just had two more uh, two more kids grow up enough to become laborers. I think it'll work out. Everybody's going to do really crappy at their job until we get the tool situation taken care of, though. So we're loading the ore into the small iron smelter. Probably wait a couple of years and then we'll... Um, uh, then we'll take this and upgrade it. Okay, and I want a little stockpile over here. And I want it to just be industrial fuel. So that we're making it here, and it doesn't have to go very far. I'm going to put it right across the street from um, the smelter. keep an eye on the blacksmith because now we should be producing like proper iron and we're at 28 to 32 we only need four more we can start building the blacksmith and hell might as well start working on coats too right while they finish that up so let's get somebody into the tailor shop two leather for one hide coat we're down to three in the stockpile, but everybody should have an adequate one for now. They just, uh, they wear out and they need a new one. How are we doing on leather? It says that we have 43 stored textiles, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's all leather. Yeah, only eight of it is leather. Because we can make, uh, we can make coats out of several different things. Oh, actually, yeah, that's kind of skewed, because if we click on this, he's taken some of the leather, too, and he's already processed a bunch of it. He or she, I don't know. All right, we're in late winter, and we're starting on our freaking blacksmith, finally. This is going to be a, a tough beginning of the year if we can't get those farmers the tools that they need, though. Now, since all of our businesses 
that are new are off in this direction. The next two houses that I want to build are right here. And I'm just giving it a second. Oh man, it takes so long to build without tools. I can only imagine this man's pain. We'll get the laborers working on bringing the stuff over for these. And we're going to need more, um, we're going to need to cut down more trees. So I'm going to pull those from just the back side of the fields. And we're going to end up having to replant all these, so I don't want to tear out too much of it. Just grab these. They got hands, don't they? Oh no! Our hunter died during childbirth. Got our first death already. I don't know, I may have been able to get away with taking one of our f uh, fields and just leaving it um, untouched and unworked for this whole season. Just to give us one additional labor, but I think it'll be fine. Oh, shit. I forgot that I placed this before I placed the blacksmith, so they broke away from building the fucking blacksmith. <laughs> Started working on the house. Get your ass back across the street. Who's at like 92% and he's like, well, I guess I gotta go work on this home with my bare hands. There we go. Okay, now, how you doing down here? Oh god. I believe that we're out of leather. No, we still have six more, but for now, I want... God damn it. I want to just swap this guy from here to here. Oh, interesting. Okay. So the smelter and the blacksmith use the um, use the same like worker type. Well, I wonder. My iron limit set at two hundred. I wonder if I can make that work out. Just have the guy that's working this. He'll finish up with a, as much iron proper iron as he can and then when he doesn't have anything to do he should move over to the blacksmith nah fuck it we need the tools immediately so we'll just put a proper one in and since we're making proper iron we don't really have to go with the rough tools oh neat we can also do stone tools and wooden tools I had no idea Let's see we don't have coal right because we're just making furnace fuel yeah, we don't have coal, so we can't do an upgraded one. Like steel tools or hardened tools. Bronze tools, carbon steel, gemstone tools. And we can also make muskets here. I think we're just going to leave it on the regular good old iron tools. Turns out that that's just not working out and we can't get everybody the tools that they need then uh, we won't bother. We'll cut the smelter out of the equation. We'll just go for rough tools. So we still have six laborers. Uh, they should be able to finish these two homes now. And I hadn't really gone around to check. It looks like our woodcutter and our farmer can move out. We've got a child that's almost old enough to move out. Got another nine-year-old and an eleven-year-old there, so they can move out. And then I need the residences. Why can't I click on? There we go. So we probably only need the one extra house, but we'll finish out the two.
Then our next order of business is a school. Civic buildings, schools. So we have a decision to make here. We could do a fairly cheap but fairly small one, or we could just say screw it and go for one of the bigger ones. We have the ability to produce lumber. Right now we're using it for firewood, but we could just toggle it over and produce lumber. That'll be for 20 students. I'm not sure what the schoolhouse limit is. The old grammar school has a capacity of 25. College. A one-room schoolhouse is going to be 25. Tiny school is only 14. Nordic school, no information. So 25 looks like about the average. Above ground and hangs over road buildable tiles. Ideal spot for a marketplace below. Really? Oh, yeah, it does. Interesting. So, what? It's up on stilts? How the hell does that work? It totally is. That's really cool. Hmm. So as far as where our residences are going to mostly be, like, they'll kind of be in this area for now. If we can put a marketplace under this, I would also like the market to be right in the middle of that, too. Let's go over to the marketplace real quick. Let's take it over to the candy shop. Old Town Trading Post, that's not what I need. I need... I'm assuming it's built for the, um... There we go. For the stock market. Not stock market. The, you know, stock game vanilla market. <laughs> yeah, because it's definitely not going to fit one of those underneath it. So, never mind. Food market... Village goods. Market market. So that's not going to work underneath there. General store. Market puzzle? What? Oh, neat. We can put the individual um, buildings that we want down there. Like, instead of the whole market at all as one piece, we can focus on certain, the certain pieces that we need of the market and make a custom one. A log depot, a river market, tiny market. Okay, let me go back over to this. Let's see if it's more specific about it. Because I probably just overlooked it. <laughs> Oh, grammar school. School sits above the ground and hangs over the road, uh, road buildable tiles. Ideal spot for, just as for a marketplace below. Hmm. Well, which freaking marketplace? Oh, it's not in civics. It's over here. Those are all trade buildings. Storage lean to. And then we have cellars as well. Oh, very cool. Better stockpiles. I'll have to keep those in mind next time we throw something down there. Small carts, large carts, farm storage. Storage crates, general storage, storage cellars, specialized warehouses. Well, it's none of that shit, so it should be in this tab, I think, somewhere in here. I don't know, I think maybe you're just in, uh, it was intended for you to go and throw, like, vendor um, stuff down there. The little custom pieces, because it doesn't look like 
the market itself is going to fit underneath that thing. Where was the other? There's another one that looks kind of like a default or a stock vanilla market. Edibles market's a little big. Wagon vendors. Okay, well, I mean, if there's no specific building, what I wanted to do is just make sure that I don't put the school somewhere where the building that was intended to fit underneath it, kind of like how these houses for the blacksmith and all that fit atop the actual building. Uh, but you have to leave enough room for you to put the, the proper building um, above or beneath it. So I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to put the school in a in the wrong spot, and I, th I don't think it's going to end up mattering. I think we can put it wherever the hell we want. And then we just add stalls and whatnot underneath it. So, school. We'll go with the old grammar school. Uh-oh. So, should I build it over the road? Or should I leave more room for market stuff underneath it by building it one away from the road? Because I could put it over the whole damn corner here. I guess it's going to look like shit if I do, though. We'll put it here. Right on the corner. And nothing special about that one. We need um, a little bit more logs, though. We have three times what we need for actually building it. But um, we're also using them for other things. So we'll just cut a, cut a few more. How them fucking tools coming, man? I see a lot of people still running around with no tools. I just thought of something that is something else important that we need. I have a gatherer. He's going to grab food. What I don't have is an herbalist, though. So, used to gather herbs to provide simple health and healing for citizens. Place for gathering of herbs and spices. Another kind of herbalist. Ah, oh, we can employ up to two there. I don't know how many the, the stock one can do. Then we have apothecaries. What do they produce? Oh, they produce healing broth, healing oil, and herbal tea. Interesting. And we just need a little bit of iron if we want to build one of those. We're not making baskets yet, so I can't do the gather herbs with a basket one. Village hospital provides a place for your sick citizens to visit and be treated by a physician. Build this to get the basic hospital. Upon construction, the hospital can be upgraded. Cool. And we also have the option for a tiny one. So I don't see one with... Um, with a house built into it or anything like that, unfortunately. But we do have a smaller option. And I think that'll do for now. Kind of thinking that I might put it over here, though. Just to get a little bit uh, closer to town. that's going to be the best spot. It's either here or over here. That one's quite a bit bigger. 
course it does have a uh, road that runs through it. We are going to want a road that goes up to there. It's got a much larger radius as well. Yeah, I think we'll just chuck it up here with all of this stuff. Right, and um, we've got a forester lodge. So this little spot here, where we're getting all of our wood for our firewood and everything, we'll end up planting more trees in here. Son of a bitch. We didn't harvest anything. Because of our tool situation. Bummer. It looks like they finished this one out, but we'll rotate the crops again too. Because it doesn't look like he got everything on this one. There we go. And then in the meantime, since it's winter, let's go and gather up some herbs and wild foods. Cause that harvest fucking sucked. Let's grab all that. Tools and stone? What's going on with our tools? I need to go gather more iron ore. That's what's going on with our tools. That is a lot of iron. I don't think I want to make him gather all that. Grab that too. We got most of the stones from out of here. Let's see if we can finish clearing it out. How many laborers do we have total? We have seven? Okay. It should be able to at least put a decent dent in it. And then, um, since we're not doing so well on our farming, we'll make up for it next year with additional farmers for that field and that field. I didn't actually have to click on that field to do that. I could have just bumped it up, but they'll continue to be laborers throughout the, uh, throughout the winter here. Oh, excellent. We got our school in already. So we'll sign a teacher and we'll see how many of these kids are going to end up in school. And let's start working on finishing out the Forester Lodges. Did I only have the one? Maybe I did. I guess I hadn't added the, uh, the one that goes up here yet. Whoops. I think I'm going to put it on the other side, actually. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go and cancel that shit so that our farmers get back over here. Uh, but then we'll put it back in. We'll have, them, we'll have uh, whatever laborers we do have left right now working on um, cancel removal. Working on stone and uh, a little bit of extra wood here in a second. I'm going to cancel that so that all five of our farmers stop doing laborer stuff and get out there. This year, though, we have good tools. We didn't even do the rough tools, so we should get a fairly quick harvest. And then we've got all five of these dudes doing laborer duties. Man, that's a shitload of flowers. That sucks. <laughs> when I had them go and start to gather up all the wild stuff, they also gathered flowers. And I don't know what the hell we even do with flowers. I don't know if they're part of um, the apiary. No, well, we don't need them to build it anyway. I'm sure we'll come across it. The only thing that concerns me about getting flowers right now is... Um, Shit, I forgot the fisherman hut. 
is that we only have one storage facility and we're filling the damn thing up with something that we can't really use right now. Zero students are near. Not too big a deal. We should have a lot of them coming in. Still got a decent, uh, um, decent number of small children. And the rest of them will just become laborers, so that'll kind of work to our advantage, too. Oh, use it for perfume. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking that we need to probably put in more um, storage facilities then. Because we're just going to keep stockpiling the shit. Till we get up to the point where we can actually use it. Got more babies. Okay, it looks like the farmers are all doing work. I'm a little bit worried about this one. No, he's back out there. So there's a bug where uh, it'll get up to 99% yield and then they'll just ignore the damn thing, but it looks like it worked out. I'll just continue to rotate the crops. Just to make sure for now. Later on, it won't be as big of a deal. Usually, they only ignore them for one year. But for now, I want to make sure that we're getting as much food as we can. And I want to also come over for our food limit. I don't think we're going to hit it anytime soon, but uh, just in case... Before I forget, I want to get that up to 7,500 and then for uh, health items, I want to increase that to 1,000 because we're going to trade off a hell of a lot of herbs. All right, so what is your problem? Oh, okay, good. We're at our um, furnace fuel production limit. And that's a whole different kind of worker at the fuel refinery. That's a shame. Because if it were the same as the blacksmith and the smelter, I would just bump that down to two, and we could free someone up. Uh, I think I'll do one and one. One person at that forester lodge, and then one up at this one for now. Well, wait. We have kids growing up. Yeah, only four laborers. I guess just to get them ahead. Let's do three at that one, and then we'll lower this one to uh, to two, and we'll have three all together with a limit of two. And they can just go and work at whichever one's more convenient for them. So I think we got all of our food, but we're only at 1,500 with four fields. We need some seeds, man. Okay, so... We've already got an herbalist. We need some sort of health facility here. And I don't really have a whole lot of information on these, so I'm just kind of comparing uh, how much they cost to build. The village hospital looks like it's the most affordable of the big ones. Uh, otherwise, just a tiny hospital for now would do. Hmm. And it can be upgraded. I think that's going to be the way to go. It's pretty big. Should we put it right next to the school? I don't see any real downside to putting it right next to the school. Or should we maybe move it over onto this side? I also need to relocate the stockpile. Split up all the stuff that we're um, that we're putting into this one out to where it needs to be Yeah, I think I'll just throw it right in the middle of town here Actually I think I'm gonna nudge it over just a little further That way when we're adding market stalls underneath the school uh, We've got a little bit of extra room that we can 
install them over here as well. We'll put that over. Just a bit. That would make people happy. Do we have any kids old enough to move out? I see two... Three... Four... Five... Give me the other house. Six, seven, holy shit. Yeah, we need houses. That's more houses than we need, but since they're all jammed together, I think it'll be okay. Twenty-one iron, not a problem. But we do need to go and cut logs. And we need more stone. Now's the time. Middle of winter, so I don't want to give them a huge amount of stuff to do. And then as far as stone, we're going to be planting trees in here, so I want to make sure that I clear out that area and this area first. Just for more trees. I don't think that's going to be enough stone, but it'll get us started. Oh, damn it. How many laborers do we have? We only have two? Well, we have a boatload because there's so many things that are idle. Like, this is five farmers that are now laborers. Uh, but as long as we have two, I'm going to put somebody over in the tailor shop as well. Eventually, I'll go down to one person working the blacksmith, and then they'll swap over to the tailor shop as needed until we really need, like, a full-timer. But I just noticed that we're out of coats, which is no good. No good at all. Uh-oh. We're also low on leather. Are you going to be able to make any coats? This is going to get pretty fucking harsh. Well, we made it through, I guess. We still only ended up with about 700 extra food. Might be time to throw in the orchard as well. And once we finish with the hospital, or at least get pretty damn close to finish with the hospital, we want our first trading post. General trading post for all your trading needs. The old, uh, old trading post. But I'm really tempted to start off with the farm supplier. A lot of seeds trader, like specifically just for tiny trader, what the hell, tiny food trader. Some of the mods that are included in this seem a little cheaty, so I'm intentionally avoiding some of them. Ooh, a smuggler's dock. Trading post, a Thompson trading post, which is going to need like glass. That one needs gilder, that one needs building material. Food supplier, dry goods. Yeah, let's start out with exactly what we need, which is farm uh, stuff. I think I'll be able to fit. Oh, it won't matter. I won't want another fisher thing in there anyway. So we'll throw you there. Okay, all of our farmers are working. I'm happy about that. But... I'm really tempted to pull some of these guys early. So right now we're up here working on the Forester Lodge, I think. Yeah. Let's pull two of the Foresters back to just labor. A 
let's start cutting over here now. Then cut down some more trees. So we're really behind on logs. And the additional stone, I believe we already have a lot of it marked. I don't think that they've cleared it out yet. But they might have. Well, they cleared out a little bit of it, but they definitely didn't get close to done. So we'll just grab what's easy now. Need to clear out a little bit more stone here, get that iron out of there, so that it's not taking up any of the um, any of the area where we're gonna plant trees. Then we'll go and gather um, wild food this winter too, probably. Just for a little bit more variety. 18% full? Good deal. Wow. Where did all of our fucking food go? Everybody must have stocked up their homes at the same time or something. Not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. Hopefully we don't have a bunch of people go and starve on us though. Let's bump this up to three hunters, I guess. But I don't have the uh, fishing thing in quite yet. And we won't until we finish the forester hut or forester lodge. We don't really need this one right now. Let's pause it. I'm not going to move it or anything, but might as well pause it. We need to make some progress on this fishing dock. I think I'm going to take these guys down to two over at the water wheel. Oh, right. I placed the homes... Um, at the very beginning, so they've they've kind of broken off of working on other stuff to work on these houses. Let's pause that one. I know you don't have any food. We're working on it. Damn it. Hmm. I mean, it's at 100%. They shouldn't ignore it, but I need to cancel all that removal that I just put in. that farmer to go farm. There we go, sweet. And it's early autumn, so hopefully we'll get that full harvest in. Well, so much for that shit. <laughs> early autumn, and we just got hit with snow. But he did cut it all. I don't think that I need to rotate the crops. So for the laborers now, uh, we want the priority thing. Let's make sure they get all this up off of the ground. And then we need to chop trees and get that stone finally. Let's chop all that out and get stoned. So we're doing okay on iron. Uh, we're doing fantastic on tools. We're already up to uh, 44 out of the 50 limit. Got eight students now. Once we get the stone, we should be able to finish off the village hospital. And now is a good time for us to... Well, I don't know if I want to increase the priority on it. Maybe I don't. Do I have any spare lumber, though? Because I think I need to switch these guys over to lumber for just a little bit. I want you to make lumber out of logs, and we're only going to need about 100. And then we'll toggle it back over. That'll give us 80 waiting in the wings for later.
We are not doing very well on food right now though, are we? Go on, buddy. Finish it up. Unfortunately, the the default like stock or vanilla uh, fishing docks aren't really all that good, but they're definitely better than not having one. I should have built it much earlier. We've already ate through uh, two thirds of our food that we got from that harvest. So this is looking like it's going to be a rough ass winter. Uh, I've got this hunting cabin up to three already. Wonder if I should build another one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's our gatherer at? That leaves us with three laborers. That'll be fine. I'm not going to put anybody in the hospital until, uh, as a physician, until like a plague or something hits. So we don't have to worry about that so much, but that'll give us two people that can do fishing. And then we're going to just need to wait until we get one more student uh, who becomes a laborer. And we'll uh, start to stock up our farm supplier. I've got four farmers doing work. Wonder if I should cancel that to get the other guy out there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Little shit. It's not as tedious if I'm not on such a high um, time. Like, we're at 10 times right now. They were almost done, but I'll just cancel it out and get this farmer down here. Where the fuck is my farmer? There he is. He's a little slacker. Everybody else is almost done planting. Probably should have rotated them crops, too. Okay, who do we have left? Oh, nice. We're up to five laborers, so we'll just go straight up to four people working the uh, fishing dock. And then our main concern for this year is stone. Start gathering that. We're going to need wood, too, but... We have the stone first. Oh no. We're not quite done with all of our construction material, but I don't want to be completely out. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. As long as we got our 20 lumber, we'll put those guys back on firewood. I just noticed that we had no firewood. I had only toggled it off for a moment, too. Why is this game so fucking mean? Should we go to Rodin? The builder's pretty busy. Sweet. So I'm just going to pause that for now. Uh, just to um, get him working on this. We need almost 40 more stone. We need 38 more stone before we can finish it out. And I think they've already gathered up what I told them to get. So, let's grab that. That. Then we'll work on this patch next time we need stone. That should be enough to get us the farm supplier. And the cool thing about the farm supplier, it's just like a regular trading thing, but they only bring seeds and livestock and uh, like crop stuff. So that's perfect for us, for where we are. Oh, excuse me, for where we are right now. We have 251 herbs. Mm. Well, it's alright. Herbs, if I remember right, they trade pretty good. Or at least, I mean, you've always got a surplus. So that's why I bumped that up to about a thousand, even though we sh shouldn't need anywhere near that much. And yeah, we're at about 247 uh, right now. Most students. Damn, it's almost half full. 10 out of 25. 
All right, we got our stone. We just need our builder to go do work. That leaves us with two spare laborers. We'll uh, we'll just go and assign somebody right away to it. Nice, and we got our harvest in this year for our harvest instead of about 1,500. We ended up at almost 2,500. So that'll help out a lot. And then the, um, the extra fisherman, he'll help out quite a bit too. The extra four. But I think... I can only go up to three on a regular hunting cabin, right? I guess it doesn't actually say. Yeah, it doesn't tell me, you know, if I can kind of overkill it and put more people in there. Might put in the next one. So our blacksmith is all caught up. Our coats are not looking too good though. Three coats right now. I need more hides. Or a way to get more hides. I'm going to do another hunting cabin. I'll throw him in over here. Next to our forester lodge. All right, so we've got a little bit of surplus stone. We're getting frighteningly low on wood, though. See, and I think the edge of this forester lodge is right in here, so I should be able to cut another sliver out of this without putting him behind too badly before we get an actual forester in there. So we'll chop all that out. I might have to put one more person on, um, uh, what do you call it, on um, firewood. We're keeping up for now. Excellent, another new laborer. Unfortunately, that need, means we uh, need more homes, but I'm a little nervous to expand. Build a town arrival. Sat down in this stuff. I know of the colonial hall and the town hall. Courthouse. Governor. Oh, nice. Welcome back, Jax. Village hall. Did you mean the town hall? Oh no, Town Arrival, used to record and show census data, does not provide happiness. Isn't that the same thing that Town Halls do? Census data, Governor's Office, how much is that going to cost? Oh shit, super cheap. I think maybe I could just throw it out of the way over here. I guess I could put it under the school. Oh, maybe not. Put it next to the school. I don't know where the hell to put it. Well, this is as far as we're going to build homes. Let's just throw it in there. And then we'll have a well in here as well. Or also... Going pretty good, Jax. Hey, what's up, Dark? How you doing, Tree Fitty? Sweet. Put that in. Yeah, they do have to commute pretty far to get over to the fishing hut and all that. So when we expand next which probably needs to happen pretty soon. I just want um, I want to get us so that we're stable on the food before I build any more homes.
But we do have enough room for a row of houses out front. The hunting cabin shouldn't affect them. Smelter's radius is fairly low. So is the refinery. Hopefully that refinery is not too close to the old blacksmith residence. Let's finish these two in the middle of town. Since we've already got the goods. Get that one. And that one going. Enough room in here for... Oh, nice. I think I have that at the right angle. Nope, they did bass backwards. Gotta cancel that. Off till Monday? Nice. Hey, thanks for the follow, Poo Poo. I have no idea how to say your name, so I apologize for that. Call you Puff Daddy. Wonder if we should finish this guy up. Yeah, I took it right to the to the edge of where he's gonna um, be planting trees. We're at forty three percent full. I'm really tempted to gather up all of this extra wild stuff that's in here, where I've removed all the trees. What's going on with our farmers, though? I see one working. Nope, we're good. Looks like they're all doing work. And that makes me happy. What are we up to? Six laborers? Now, there's another one of these. Can I have both of them up? Overhead map. Event log. General stats. That's what I want. There we go. That we don't have to refer to this full list so frequently um, when it comes to like laborers. So we do have a trader in, but I haven't moved any of our stuff over. We don't really have anything that I'm comfortable trading in quite yet. Uh, but let's see what they brought. Well, they brought some, some sheep. Hmm. We can store them in here. If, if I can even get one sheep, that will definitely give us a leg up. Let's see. Let's see if we can move 350 herbs. And... I was really hoping to be trading firewood. You can have these fucking flowers, too. bring this over here we have 1420 flowers yeah you can have those matter of fact just take all the flowers if we get flowers store them in there anything else that we want to clear out of this reeds are kind of handy I want to keep the feathers we're gonna need those for a couple of different things bone meal I'm not so sure on I mean, if we had to, we could trade iron tools, but I hate to. Do I? Uh, unfortunately, my accounts aren't going, but yeah, I've got jump freighters and all that good stuff. If I had an account. Tempted to store our lumber in there, too. Because I would imagine it sells as good as firewood. Uh, I don't really see anything else though. Not until we have a surplus of food that we can trade. So we have seven laborers right now. Let's get five people working on moving all of those goods over. We'll see if we can uh, strike a bargain with this guy before he leaves. They're only going to move 30 things at a time, apparently. Whoa, 500 flowers? Okay, never mind. Crap, we got an infestation, huh? 
bummer. Hmm. I don't think we have to do anything specifically for that though, do we? It's just that this field won't produce. So I guess I could toggle off um, working it. Well, no, I want to I wanna leave you on work, don't I? Because I want them to come in and cut these down, don't I? Ah, eh, fuck it. It'll just die off. I think. Let's get our speed back up. Alright, how much are flowers worth? We have a thousand. Flowers are only worth one? That's fine. We've got enough in here to buy two sheep. What do I need? 40? 50. Cool. And I'm not going to do an order so that we have to pay any more or anything. It looks like this guy will bring us whatever kind of livestock that we need, but um, since we got sheep, that'll give us wool, and that puts us one step closer to better clothing and an alternative way for us to make clothing. Because we can do wool coats, or we could use the leather and the wool to make warm coats, which is pretty nice. Hmm. I thought... What happened to the better leather? Do we not use the better leather for any of this? Or is this two leather different than this two leather? Because eventually, once we have salt, we'll, um have a tannery going and we'll improve our leather okay so that's gonna put us even further behind on wood uh, I've already got that one out to the edge and I've cut pretty far into where this guy is gonna be planting trees so I guess the closest and easiest place for us to get to is this patch over here just clear cut all that shit We did, yes. Uh, we're using the Mega Mod now, which has all of the features that we had previously in Colonial Charter, plus just a buttload uh, more stuff, too. Just a ton of shit. Okay. Oh, and the, uh, the reason that I haven't bumped up the uh, stone or iron or wood from where they are right now at 200 across the board. Just um, because if we if we get the 200 logs, then I want them to stop and I want them to go over to the stone and then same there, I want them to go over to the iron. That way my stockpiles for now stay, stay plenty small. So we're doing that intentionally, but I totally understand what you're saying. This one does need to go up though. Otherwise they're just planting trees and not cutting any. What are we at right now? 250 logs? I think 500 ought to be safe. I don't think that'll fill up any of our stockpiles. We store it outside, so... It's not too big of a deal. We can take any clear piece of land and throw them down there. It's just a pain in the ass when we have to move them. Like if I wanted to move this guy, I'm uh, market for removal and then somebody's uh, laborer's gotta go and take everything away and put it out on another stockpile somewhere. Pain in my butt. Not quite done with our town arrival. I should have probably just put that over here, shouldn't I? Damn it, and we've already invested the logs. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well. So we need our priority deal. Sure, they take care of all that shit. I'm gonna open that one back up for work. Get it all cut out. Because I think once the last one dies off, then we're okay. And then we'll rotate the crop to something else. What are we up to? About 400 um, logs. I want to make sure that we have enough for firewood, too. And I have increased the amount of firewood or the fuel that 
target to uh, 400. So I may have to have them cut even more wood out. Eh, maybe not. That's a decent chunk. Just debating whether I should build the pasture now. Suppose it could. And I think this time I'm going to put the pasture right on the other side of the um, farm fields so that the herdsmen will want to live in these homes too. Just uh, keep everybody nice and paired up. So I'm just going to go for standard pastures, I think, and I'm trying to remember where the radius for this was. Probably just mark the uh, line the first one up at the road there so that I don't cut too far into the forest or stuff. Nah, even if I were to put it over here, it doesn't really cut in that badly. Yeah, let's just go for it. I want that. And I think with sheep, let me look at my cheat sheet here. 16 by anything or maximum size. So I want that one there, then I want a different type of pasture here. What's our max size on the, holy shit. 30 by 30 is max? They must have changed that. Let's go 20 by 20. That is a whole lot of wood. Oh, and should pastures be two, um, two spaces apart from one another? Does that help with uh, infestation? Or does it matter? Since this will be for sheep, that will be for cattle. Um, then the next sheep, then cattle, and then we'll have two more that are separate from one another, probably on either end, that'll be for chickens or some sort of a fowl. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we could have pinned that. Might even put the chicken coops down here, but I do want a space in there. Let's just put it in the middle. and eliminate the risk, right? 18 by 18 for chickens. And then another 16 by 16. So I think that's what I did over here, isn't it? Cool. And then I have 20 by 20. This is so much fucking wood, but I'll pause most of these. All except for um, the one that we have animals for. God damn it, mouse. 20 by 20. And then an 18 by 18. I think it'll be far enough away that I can put it below this one. Okay, so we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need that one right now, and we don't need that one right now. And that takes it down to 120 logs that we're going to use instead of quadruple that. Then when we get cows, we'll finish out these two. And when we get um, chickens, we'll finish out these two. Hopefully that's far enough away. But at least for now, we'll be able to start a herd of sheep. And then we'll have a spare pen to move them over to when we need it. That does cut into the foresters just a little tiny bit there, but I think it's a fairly efficient way for us to utilize our space. I'm okay with cutting into it a little bit. 
Still doing well on tools, but we're getting pretty low on iron ore. Clearing that out will give us a little bit. And that one too, I suppose, though. I feel like I did that bass backwards. No, should be fine. I feel like the chicken coops are way larger than they need to be, but it'll be all right. Oh, and um, should we finish up those extra homes? And I need to rotate crops for sure. Back to parsnips, blackberries, parsnips, blackberries, parsnips. So that hopefully we can cut down on the um, risk of infestation. Shit. I switched these guys back over to firewood, but they're not really keeping up. We have nine spare laborers right now, though. So we'll put the um, water wheel sawmill back up to max um, capacity there. I'm going to bump you up and your limit up, too. I'll unpause this forester lodge just so that I can replant some of these trees just on the edge and anywhere that we tore out um, stone and iron they'll go and get the next generation of trees in too So we just need to keep an eye on our pastures. We're doing better-ish on food. We're at about three and a half thousand. How are we doing on students? Nice, we're up to 11. So we're still teetering right on the edge of half full. Okay, there we go. What's my limit on fuel? 400? gonna cost us a lot of our 673 logs but I'm gonna raise it up to 500 and that'll be our target we'll leave it at 500 and we'll move uh, as we hit 500 we'll move about 200 of it over to the um, little trading thingy thing here oh and now that we have a place to put those stinking flowers that we're filling this up is there anything else that needs to move out uh, they'll use honey ginger They'll use... Bone meal is the one that I'm not sure on. I don't know if they're going to be able to use bone meal. I'm just not certain what we use it for. So we may as well fill this up with it, right? Rather than filling up our main storage. I mean, if anybody wants it, fuck it, they can have it. Wild seeds as well. I don't know what they do with wild seeds. But I don't see anything else that's really a big waste of space in here yet feathers are iffy feathers might be worth moving out just to store them over there for now I think we're fine though I just wanted to take care of that before um, before we fill this up completely so that the one dude that's working here you know stays working do work do the bark. All right, looking good on that one. We're going to need 60 logs for this one. Plenty. I just need to keep a pretty close eye on that. And then for this hunting cabin, since we have 10 freaking uh, laborers, I'm going to go up to full capacity of hunters. So that hopefully we can get this damn tailor shop pumping out more um, hide coats. Till we get wool. There's another one of those flashes. Hmm. Funky. We should have a trader coming in. Yeah, baby. Come on in. I think that this Forester Lodge is far more important right now. We have eight laborers. 
Let's go up to two and we'll max this one out at two. Sorry, we'll go up to three, max that one out at two, and max this one out at one for now. All right, dude, what you got? Excellent. Oh, damn it, though. I should have built my orchard by now. I'm not sure if we want the pistachios. Hmm. Peppers are a pretty good one, though. They're about 3,000 bucks. How much do I actually have if I max these? And why isn't there a button I can click to just max them? Hey, what's up, Van Zan? So I'm gonna fall just a little bit short being able to buy everything right now. Well, I won't be able to buy everything, but I mean being able to buy one of the um, uh, pepper seeds. Hmm. I'm also tempted to try for the hemp. Because I believe that hemp is going to be for linen. But it's got its own production line. So for now we'll stick with the wool. Wool is going to require one freaking person to look after the sheep. Two people eventually when we have multiple herds. When we have two herds. And then a spare, um, spare place for us to move those sheep into. Whereas if we go with hemp. Then we're looking at farmers for the hemp. Then we're looking at a weaver, I believe, to make it into linen. And then, then after that, I think we can make it into clothes. And a couple other. So yeah, peppers. That'll be our target. We need something else to trade, though. I don't know. We just started planting. We can throw a thousand parsnips at him and probably be okay. Or a thousand blackberries. We've got three fields of parsnips at the moment. Let's do 500 of each. I want... There it is. 500 parsnips and 500 blackberries. Yeah. What about a roller? Oh, do you need a roller for that as well? For flax and linen? Can you make oil out of um, flax in this game? I know you can in Dwarf Fortress. Flax is fairly versatile. I don't know what all we can do with the Mega Mod, though. All right, I gotta go through homes real quick. Oh my god, we have 20 year olds and 17 year olds and 19 year olds living at home. We need to expand. So that's gonna kick our stone right in the nuts, but we've got enough to cover it and a pretty decent investment, about, about 100 of our logs. I think it'll be okay though. I hope it'll be okay anyway. Who ended up living out here? Hunters and woodcutters. Cool. Close enough. We could totally put another home out here for the trader and the people that are working at the sawmill. And the fishermen. So with the fishermen involved, we could probably get away with a few more homes out here. Now, did they move enough stuff out here? I don't think that they did yet. Oh, they did. Well, they might have. Now we have 500 parsnips. Still pretty short. Not quite good enough. We just need 200 of those blackberries. 
And I think they move 500 at a time, but we'll see. Oh, it says that I do have 500. I didn't think that I did. I thought it was a zero. That or they just brought it over. And then I want to back off on the number of herbs for now. They trade really well, uh, but we only have 102 extra. So if I sell all 300 of these, uh, then we're just going to empty out the herbs and uh, our health rating is going to fall a little bit lower. The bone meal's kind of throwing us off a little bit. But I want to get rid of it, so worth it. Cool. Unfortunately, it's late spring, so I don't really want to uh, rotate the peppers into one of these fields quite yet. But now that we have a third crop, Let's get another uh, crop field in. It's gonna interfere with the hunter a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a big chunk. I don't think I want that. We'll put it on the other side. Then we'll have um, parsley in one, peppers and or sorry, uh, parsley in two, blackberries in two, pepper in two. But I think it's too late in the year for us to plant it. Might be able to get a partial harvest. Oh, you check the town arrival for that. Ooh, all kinds of good stuff going on in here. I like that. So it's just a tiny little town hall, huh? Where specifically do I check for that? Instead of checking all the homes? That's what we're talking about, right? People that are living at home. Or my loss. I'll wait for him to finish up those last couple and then we'll um, probably put three more out by the docks. Oh shit, I keep forgetting, we need some flippin' wells, man. Oh, and I was a little confused on it the other day. Do we need a well um, over by stuff that's on the coast? Oh, I like that well. tempted to just go for the smaller ones though large village wells are even more expensive oh but they make people happy gonna kind of overlap into this thing's area but I think it'll be okay not sure yeah I'm not sure either if they can just grab the water straight from the river I don't really need a large one out here do I 
but it does make people happier. I'm pretty sure that's what that purple um, circle is. I don't think I'm going to bother with these. I guess we'll find out the hard way. So we should... Yeah, cool. Should have one more home going upstairs there. And then the builder may as well finish this out. The village hospital. Since we're trading. Uh, boarding house? To try and go for some nomads, you think? Water pump. Water wells. Celtic well. I guess I could put the smaller version. So the smaller version of the regular well is the same price. Uh, but when it comes to the village wells, we do save just a little bit by going with a small one. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, but no happiness increase. And I'll probably end up having just one more house out here. I think it'll be fine. Fuck it. It'll be fine. Hey, what's up, Gecko? General Goldface, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the stream. You showed up right before everybody's about to die. Good timing. <laughs> the hell? Why can't I build that? Oh, because that's not a fucking road. That's why. This is a little stockpile. It looked just like a road. I had forgot that I need to tear this stockpile out. And I might as well tear this one out, too, for now. Because this one's going to move over to where this one is, and then we'll complete our road. That makes more sense. So I'm going to use those two as placeholders, uh, but I do want the actual houses that we build to be right up here. That'll be the lower portion, and then the upper portion. Then I cancel these two until we get the road in, and then we'll just backfill. So how many people work out here? We got one person over here. We've got four there. I think we can totally get away with at least two brand new homes out here well this is technically two homes uh but i'm thinking two of this size of home so four homes total maybe hopefully nice we got our first pasture and trade sheet And then a herdsman. Okay. Trying to think. Because um, it looks like this is going to give us textiles. Do I need another facility for the, uh, for the wool? Like, do I need a place where we actually shear the sheep? Seamstress... Weavers make linen cloth and silk out of flax cotton and silkworm cocoons. Fiber water mill. That's awesome. Another facility that we can put out on the river once we get the material for it. Tanneries for cured leather. And uh, we're kind of screwed on that one. We could do water, but I would also have to um, put something down for salt. I don't know, we do have a decent number of uh, laborers. We could probably make it happen. We've already got that kind of tailor. A leather works. Produces saddles and pouches from cured leather. 
Salt and leather to create cured leather. Uh, village tailor is the same thing that we have. And a weaving guild. Okay, so we don't need any of that until we get flax or cotton. Doesn't look like we need anything for the wool. We just pr we just make the wool directly into uh, whatever we need. Noise. Got our hospital in. Um, hmm. I don't know. Our health is actually looking pretty good, but we might go and throw somebody in there as a doctor. Mega mod is like colonial charter with. I'm totally guessing, but I think somewhere around a hundred other banished mods that somebody has gone and been kind enough to um, make sure that they're all compatible and that they work together well. It's the same dudes that did Colonial Charter. And previously we were using Colonial Charter and then somebody told me to check out the Mega Mod and once I saw the list, like, it's fucking insane how much stuff you can do with it. Okay, that one's for firewood, so I just want the log. Just a log stockpile. Previously, I had a, a regular stockpile in there. Hey, thanks for the uh, for the follow, Ben. Welcome to the stream. It is awesome. It's overwhelmingly awesome. There's nearly too many options. So we're still moving our herbs over to here, but only for a little while longer. We're at 225, and I think I had it at... Oh, I have it at 350? Okay, let's lower that to... Uh, yeah, 230. That'll help with our overall health as well. Then, um... I don't know, those flowers actually seem to be pretty good for trading. So, since it's winter... Let's have all of our guys go out and collect wild stuff. And I also need to check our inventory. That's probably a little bit too much, but we'll see if they can do it. 39% full, so we should be okay. And those 260 flowers should hopefully be moved out soon. I'm alright with the rest of that, though. The bone meal will get moved out. Uh, the flowers will get moved out. The rest of it should be fine. I don't think I'm going to have enough to trade with this guy, though. Ugh, kale seeds. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Colonial Charter. So the stock, like the standard vanilla game, the premise is that you're a collection of families that have been banished and you're just moving out into the wild to just live on your own. With Colonial Charter, it adds a boatload of new options and it changes the game in a way that you're a colony of a larger, like, superpower or, or kingdom. Yeah, the Mega Mod takes it one step further and kind of incorporates that into a boatload of other stuff. So hops and barley, I'm assuming those are for beer. I think we're fine here. We're not buying kale. No fucking way. Apples are tempting, but we started out with blackberry seeds. I think we can just dismiss that guy. And speaking of blackberry seeds, let's get some orchards. I hadn't quite made it that far yet. Uh, we have dense orchards, but I'm not sure the most efficient way to set them up. And I was actually having an issue with one of the orchards that I made last time I did a dense orchard. Maybe it'll be fine, though. The problem could have just been that it was up on a hill uh, the last time I put one in. Where do we want to put them, though? I definitely don't want them in here, and I definitely don't want them in here. Hmm. I mean, they're pretty wide. We could just put them on the other side of, uh, of this stuff for now. And hopefully that won't be too far away from our homes. So the goal here is to put our orchards in so that one person is tending to the absolute max number of trees that he can tend.
Can I fit one in here? Holy shit. Oh, and I'm on dense. Damn it. I'm on dense orchards. Well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, um, I don't know how many trees total we're going to have, but I guess we could find out fairly easily, couldn't we? Let's do a standard orchard. Because it's going to be the number of trees that matters. We'll do this one 15 by 4. Same size as all the rest of them, but this one will be very temporary. And we started out, oh nice, with peach trees. Delicious. I think since these two fit, I'm just gonna get rid of these two. Until we get another uh, type of seeds. Oh nice, on your fourth start looking for mods? Yeah, I mean... There's some things that seem a little cheaty that I'm kind of avoiding. But otherwise, I have no complaints. And even those, I mean, it's not like you have to use everything that's in the mod. So even with those, no real complaints. Just notice that I want to move these over one for tedious sake. I'm going to stick with the dense one, though, till we get a count. Did I put that in one? I did. Okay. Dang it. You get out of here. Oh no. Wilbertus the Forester has died of old age. You shall be missed. So this one up here is going to be kind of a waste, but eh. Oh well. I want you on peaches, and I want you on peaches as well. Uh, and I want to cancel this one, because depending on how many trees we get in there, uh, we may just make this one longer. Oldest in town? I'm not sure. We got a lot of old people, though. Our first generation is getting ready to kick the bucket. Which really sucks, because um, there's another mod that I like to use called um, One Year is One Year. And then they have, like, realistic aging and stuff like that. And I was really hoping that this, you know, with all the freaking mods that it has incorporated into it, I was hoping that it would have an, uh, an alternative to that. Something already built in. Uh, llamas? No. We don't need llamas. We already have sheep, and I believe llamas are just going to be another source of wool. So he can keep his llamas. Thank you, though. Appreciate you. <laughs> oh, yep. About jack shit's gonna get done if I don't designate orchards. Uh, but I really like that mod. Like, everybody um, still lives up to the same max age. So it makes it more difficult in that you have so many people that are between 35 and, like, 50 and can't... Because uh, I think after 35 years old, they can't reproduce anymore. So you're getting fewer kids, but they can work up until a certain age, you know? And then... Um, oh, no, no, no. That That's, um, that's a different game. That's... Um, Oh shit, now I can't remember. Because that's not part of Anno, right? There's no age restriction on Anno. Oh, it was um, Surviving Mars. That's where that was. In Surviving Mars, you end up having to put out, like, little old folks' home biodomes to move, <laughs> move all of your elderly people to. It'll take a couple of years to uh, for these to mature, but that's a standard and that's a dense one. And I don't see any difference, but I do see that if we go one further on the width of a dense one, we can fit an entire another row of trees. I just don't know if one person can do a full harvest if we have another row. And I don't want to make a, um, a, you know, a little tiny orchard that two people end up having to work on. 
Hmm. Turn them into snacks. There we go. Some good old sunless skies. So we got turnips, we got chickpeas again. For some reason I'm thinking chickpeas grow really freaking quickly. But I can't remember. Mushrooms and bamboo. Bamboo is a little bit tempting, because I believe that that's an alternate source of wood. But I'm not positive. Don't know for sure. And I hate to invest 3,000 um, of our trade goods. $3,000 worth of our trade goods without knowing for sure. Chickpeas certainly are tempting, though. I don't think I'm going to buy any of them unless any of you guys have any more information than I do about chickpeas, turnips, and mushrooms. Um, I think it would be better just to save it for, hopefully, a different kind of livestock or... Um, uh, beans would be fantastic, and I forgot to rotate the crop fields, so our peppers are only on one field right now. Dag it. Accidentally let the... <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so they agreed. It's people, babe. There's a mod for a Kerbal Space Program with Soylent Green, but I don't think you actually need a Kerbal for it. Pretty sure it's just the actual algae. Oh, me either, Hearn. It's, it's been fun getting back to it, though. Yeah, exactly. The the old folks' home. One wall of it is all airlocks. Just move them in there. Once you hit max capacity, you uh, vent them out into space, right? No, we would never do that. Don't be silly. Why are they storing fish in the hunting cabin? Hmm. Well, I got my eye on you. Yeah, I think I'm going to dismiss this guy. Doesn't sound like um, anybody else has any better idea. And I think I'm just going to leave these the way that they are for now. No, just because of the time investment. I'm going to tear down that one on the other side of the road because they can plant the trees even through winter so that shouldn't be too big of a deal and then um, hmm. trying to decide whether to leave a gap for more homes in the middle of the orchards or just to do two orchards and then the next set of homes would be a little bit further out if we keep them on the main road there hmm yeah, I think we'll just do two right alongside one another. Yeah, we might as well go with dense. Just so that everything matches up. Poor guy's like, I don't have a job anymore. Took away my plantation. Or my orchard. We do have plantations as an option later on, too. We'll set that one up for peaches. And these uh, peach trees that are growing here will continue to mature, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll go and cut them down for wood later on. But I could be wrong on that. Um, I know that they don't grow or do anything if it's an active field, unless somebody's actually out in the field. But I don't know if these will continue to grow now that we've gotten rid of it. I think that they do. I'm just not positive. What the fuck's going on over here? Ah, we're out of stone. That's what's going on over there. Nothing. Because no stone. Hmm. Let's clear... Or try to clear all of that out. We have a lot of spare workers. But unfortunately, I just screwed up all of our expansion dreams. Oh, damn it. You're not supposed to be picking up uh, peppers. So, peppers, parsnips, blackberries, peppers, parsnips, 
And then these will be blackberries whenever we... Well, hopefully we'll finish off the, uh, the harvest, but... No, looking so hot. Bulls. Oh well, what can you do? How are we doing on food? We're doing fantastic on food. Uh, let's go and move 500 more parsnips or... Yeah, we did end up getting about 350 peppers. Yeah, let's move 500 more parsnips and blackberries out for trading. Blackberries, where's parsnips? And then depending on what we end up with in storage when um, spring comes back around, we'll beef that up even better so that hopefully next time we can buy two sets of seeds or a little bit better of a starter herd. We've had these sheep for two or three seasons. We only have one ewe. Oh, I loved Kenshi, uh, but I haven't played it since beta. If I Last time I played it, they had just opened up that third part of the map, so I haven't seen the new the new like 25% of the map and um I haven't been able to mess around with like like death mechanics have been added ranged weapons there's a bunch of stuff that was added that I haven't been able to mess with that's another one that's been on my list of games to revisit for a for a hot minute what are you building are you just taking a break like where the fuck is our builder? Do work, builder. Do work. Finish those houses. Oh, I bet. And I had... Uh, so, before they opened that up, you could still go over and look at uh, the area. Like, you could go to the edge of the map and you could see what was going on out there. And there's this really sweet spot down by the... Uh, um, it's like the southeastern part of the swamp that was right on the border and it was just too close for me to start a town in there but I really like that area so I need to make sure that I go back there and try to figure out what the heck I wanted to do over there ducks hmm not my favorite I would rather have regular chickens but we do need something that's going to lay eggs and provide us with feathers I wonder how much we can sell ducks for. I guess I can find out, can't I? We're going to do an experiment here. This is one of those games where I don't think they pay us uh, what we pay them, you know? So if we trade for the duck... And then I add... Oh, maybe I can't. I was going to add the duck into our trade inventory thing. And see what he would um, purchase him for. But it doesn't look like I can. Well, that experiment sucked. Hmm. Now I don't know if I want to go and start a, a flock of duck. <laughs> or whatever you call a bunch of ducks. Or if I just want to wait for uh, for chickens. Because I think I might just slaughter the one that I bought. Ah, fuck it. Fuck a duck. 12, 18. We can easily afford that. Uh, we can't. I don't have any herring. Unfortunately, we are without a method of detecting witches. There we go. 
Okay. Now we have 1,753 parsnips. We have uh, 1,000 blackberries still in storage. So I want to go back over to our inventory here. Because I don't want them to move all that out yet. Let's take these down to zero for now. And um, I'm assuming that ducks are the same size as chickens. So I think we need this field and this field completed. That'll be 150-ish logs. And then we'll get our army of um, workers out taking care of that. Chop all the logs, please. Raptor, the other white meat. <laughs> I'm okay with the one builder for now. As long as he doesn't take long ass breaks like that anymore. I just want to make sure that he stays busy. Well, shit, yeah, we do have 15. Let's get at least those houses and uh, these fields all finished. We should be totally rocking it on getting the uh, trees chopped down though, right? <laughs> oh, the deforestation. It's glorious. 200 pepper, 1,000 parsnips, 1,000... Oh, 1,606 on the parsnips, 1,000 blackberries. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to leave it for now. And you are a duck pen. And I need one more guy there. Yeah. That should be fine. Then we'll have our um, spare pen for the sheep too. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god. What have I done? That's our sheep pen. Why did I put ducks in this? Ducks go here. That'll be fine for now. <laughs> My bad. The future is clear cut. That's right. That is a lot of flowers. Let's get that army working on that too. I need you to collect wild stuffs. All the wild stuff since we have so many fucking workers. How's the school doing? Only seven students. Crap. It's not a good sign. I fell way behind on um, on our homes. Uh oh. Yikes. Another blacksmith bit the dust. So I see three homes that we should build so far. We need four homes. Keep those builders a building. Oh yeah, it looks like these trees are going to continue to mature, so eventually we'll just chop them down for wood, but I was curious how that was going to work itself out. Two of those, and two of those. Drag that out too. Yeah, we've got them all going to grammar school. Still got eight kids in there. It should have been a lot more though. If I was um, if I was building these homes more efficiently, then uh, these two people wouldn't have been taking up their family spot in their home, and their parents could have had more kids. So like this family, well, maybe not that one because they're a little bit older. Uh oh. I think I hit the gap. I think I fucked it up. 
Because if you have two 20-year-olds that have an 11-year-old kid living at home, that's one less baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, I dig the, the new houses, and I really like how we can build them one atop the other. There's three-story homes in here, too. And we'll probably start putting those down um, into more of a central city at some point. So, coconuts, blueberries, squash, lentils, ugh, and more kale. You can go. We thought you were our friend. You're not our friend. Go. Just take your kale and leave. Let's see if I can find him. Two story medieval house. Three story. No, that's not the one that I was thinking. That is a cool looking house though. I really like that house. Is that for three families? It isn't. It's for one family of seven. Accessories, accessories. That's just a cottage. More row housing. Narrow row housing. No. They need more advanced materials, so I hadn't really been paying attention to where exactly they were for now since we can't afford to build them. Maybe it's in the same tab here. Oh, yep, it totally is. So with the multi-level, start out with a, a regular home. See, it needs like glass and iron. Then the second story is built off to the one side and the third story off of the other side so that we can do three houses all in one spot. But they're outrageously expensive. <laughs> so that's why we, uh, that's why we're not even bothering with it quite yet. We need, um, we need glass and we're doing okay on iron though. Oh, I love Room World and X4. We're gonna go back to both of those pretty soon too. Yeah, I, d I can definitely uh, recommend it so far. This mod is pretty freaking cool. It's just such a massive collection of different amazing mods. The only thing that it lacks is uh, I do wish that it had, um, like I said before, I, I wish that it had a way for us to do, um, what do you call it? Uh, one year is one year or more realistic aging. It just makes it a lot less harsh on that age gap thing. Like, all of the adults in this house, um, Glindy can still have kids, but uh, our teacher can no longer have kids. So, like, we only got maybe three or four generations before somebody's, like, just out for the count. See, Ben, nice to meet you, man. I hope so, too, Hearn. I can't wait. Is it 10 times bigger than the base game? It is a huge one. It's like a gig and a half or something like that. I, I wasn't really aware of the size of the base game. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. I like it. I know that my mod folder for uh, Kerbal Space Program is usually um, about three or four times bigger than that base game, but it's kind of nice being able to download and install all those mods all in just one go, you know? Really convenient. You have CCAN, so you can install your own, you know, boatload of mods in um, KSP if you want to. But it's not quite the same as just being able to download one thing, activate three things in the mod list, and just roll out, you know? So we did get a full harvest in. We gotta get it off of the damn ground now, though. And it looks like we still got about a thousand blackberries. We've got 1,500 parsnips. So let's move the parsnips back up to a thousand and we'll move 500 of the blackberries out. 
Not much in the way of peppers, though. They're not really doing as well as I had thought. Did do that backwards? I may have done that backwards. Totally did. I want a thousand parsnips. I want 500 blackberries. Sweet. Then fingers crossed. I don't see any other traders yet. Oh, I bet, Hearn. Yeah, Skyrim mods are crazy. Is a lot of that artwork? I've never played a modded Skyrim. True story confession. The hell? So the ducks f just fly around in the pen? I kind of expected for them to act more like chickens. We've got our own little air force now. I'm okay with it. Ew, it's taking forever for them sheep to multiply. Oh, we already have a trader here? <gasps> More sheep. Hmm. Should we go for it? I would really like to max out that, um, that herd. Because right now they're just kind of doing nothing. Not that six sheep would max it out. Oh, you know what? I can only afford two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You only get 30 of my parsnips because you can have all 250 of these flowers. Wonder if I should do that backwards and keep the herbs. Nah, fuck them. We'll just get a couple extra. <laughs> Just too much counting, huh? Poor sheeps. Wait a minute. How do I move them out of here? Artist the Herdsman has died of old age. You get your ass back here and do work, sir. I did not give you permission to die. Um... How do I move the sheep into this one? Oh, wow. Much larger than the base game. And there goes our blacksmith. Keeping an eye on our food reserves here. As long as we have some sort of food, I don't really give a shit about their happiness right now. Till, uh, till this generation of older people has finished dying off. Could be polite about it and die off in pairs. <laughs> Rude. Let's get those next couple of houses in. I was kind of hoping that, you know, they would clear up more housing, but doesn't look like they're working with me on it. I don't think I gapped those properly. No, nope, it totally didn't. I just need that one out of there. There we go. That's four more houses. Hopefully that'll open up enough room for the um, younger people to pair up and have more babies. She should be married by now. She probably is, even though she's a student. She just doesn't have anywhere to move 
to live with her uh, 11 year old husband. Uh, I should have rotated these backwards, but hopefully we'll luck out. Hopefully it'll be all right. I want to do another test with the orchards. I'm curious if I were to go this same size, but only three wide. Uh, would that last row of trees go in? So if I go three by 15, well, 15 by three, can we get the same number of trees? I'm not going to go changing these over one row there yet, but I'm wondering. Bump that up for now. It shouldn't take long for us to be able to count them. Well, actually, we shouldn't really even have anything to worry about counting. It should be a, hopefully a row of trees, a row of nothing, and a row of trees. But if it's just the one row of trees, then yeah, we want to stay with the same size. What up, trader? Rock melon. Oh man, does that take me back a little bit to Dwarf Fortress. Ginger, broccoli, apple, and maple. Hmm. The one that I'm debating is the maple. Oh, is that the wiki for uh, Colonial Charter, though? Because I think that's the mod that adds in the dense, um, dense orchards. I'm just comparing the standard orchard to the dense orchard. And I don't remember the dense orchard being a thing in the vanilla game. I also have no fucking idea what's going on with um, village orchards. I had no idea. Man, there's all kinds of shit down here. Oh, there is a sheep shed to give us wool. Son of a... Trying to get a good angle so I can put it next to the, whatever the hell that little guy was. Because it's not too big. It's going to cut into our forestry area just a, just a smidge. As far as this merchant goes, though, I think I'm going to wait. The maple seeds are tempting. That'll give us another kind of orchard. But I think that that's going to have its own production chain as well. And I don't even know where to begin to look. Food refining. Probably a good place. Old Dairy makes butter, cream, and cheese for milk. All three products get made by the dairyman automatically when milk is available. Milk and barn produces milk. Needs some. Oh, we need domesticated animals to uh, even build it. And I haven't even had an opportunity to purchase any yet this time. Ketchup industry he used to take tomatoes and generate ketchup. Okay, dairy parlor. Same deal as the um, old dairy. A creamery. Same deal. An oil press for vegetable oil. Bakery. Extracts oil from olives and harvested sunflower flax. Oh, cool. We can make oil from flax. That's awesome. Cotton seeds and whale blubber. Lamp oil is best pressed from whale oil, but can be made from other organics at a cost. 
Oh my god. And then another kind of oil press produces seed oil from kernels pecan or walnut and linseed oil from flax. Okay. What I'm looking for... What the hell? A wooden butcher. Oh, okay. So a butcher shop made out of wood. I gotcha. <laughs> uh, fish smoker. Oh. I wonder if we should build one of those. We do... F we do make fish. Small grill for your market. Soup kitchen for your market. Hey, what's up, suicide? Something for cleaning and sorting vegetables. Another bakery. Preservist. Jams and pickles out of fruits and vegetables. Jams need sugar. Pickles need spirits. And a glass works for the glass stuff. Medieval bakery. I don't see a way for us to make, like, syrup. Or anything special from the maple. Old bakery. Smokehouse. For curing and preserving food. Salt house. I'm assuming for the same thing. Oh, nice. Campfire for roasting nuts. Almonds, chestnuts, hazelnuts, pecans, walnuts, and even acorns. Oh, I'm still working on it. <laughs> but a lot of it's really intuitive, too. That's the kind of the neat thing about all these mods. They definitely take logical steps to get you to the, you know, final destination there. A gruel kitchen. Num e Soup kitchen. Nope, I'm not seeing it. The village kitchen. Um, I, I did kind of just quick read bounce over those, but yeah, I don't see anything in there. Tinnery. Veggies, meat, fruits, and soup, again. Well, it's not going to be a butcher product. I don't know what the hell we would use maple for. Any idea? I think I'm just going to let the guy go. More water stuff. Greenhouses. Cheese. Candy store for that little extra. How do I make candy, though? For rose hips and oats? And I wouldn't think that it would be in here. I'm pretty sure that that's the most logical tab. Candle, a cooper, joiner. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything useful in there. Have, well, there's a lot of useful stuff in there, but nothing that, uh, that I can think of would give us something to do with um, maple. Orchard gatherers, an apple forester, apricot forester, coffees, figs, grapes, maple. Exclusively plants maple trees. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. All right. Well, he can go then. Because we can live without apples. We already have two different kinds of fruit. Uh, we can live without broccoli. We've got two different kinds of vegetable, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know what a rock melon is, to be honest. I had literally thought that rock melon, because I've never heard of it outside of Dwarf Fortress, I figured it was just a dwarf kind of melon. And ginger? No, nah, we'll just dismiss him. We're good. We're using uh, the Mega Mod packs, so we have, like, all the fucking mods. How do I get these stupid sheep out of here, man? Or do I just have to wait? Will the herdsmen go over and grab them? Uh, that's a negative. The only thing, uh, like I was talking about it before, the only thing that I really wish this had was uh, one year aging. Get out of here, sheep. Go. Go away. Just can't move that slider up anymore. Whoop. Nope. Don't slaughter him. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. I accidentally moved the slider too far. 
So the herdsman came down and snuffed him out. Balls. I guess move him into the other uh, pasture. I don't really particularly want two pastures. Uh, but once I move them into here, I think I can empty it. And then hopefully they'll go over to this one. A rock melon is a cantaloupe. Oh, okay. Goddamn, we had another merchant already. Oh, goody. And then a uh, winter in early autumn. Fantastic. Leghorns. Now here I am stuck with all these ducks. And a cantaloupe is a musk melon. <laughs> Name the town Suckin' Suicide. That's awesome. What an honor. I'm gonna bump that back up to 250, but um, I think that's about it. I would like your leghorns, but I have ducks. I will full on swap those bitches out for chickens, though. Because I think the chickens are the fastest uh, at reproducing. We're going to have to rotate our fields here. Parsnips, blackberries, and peppers. Okay, how's the housing situation? It's looking creepy AF. We got our 75 year old hunter. Damn, this is going to get fucking rough. I see a lot of people in their 30s that only have like one child living at home. Ugh. So I definitely need two more houses. Because we've got some 12, 13, 14 and 15 year olds living at home. And then we'll, I guess we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, it really is. Uh, at 35, I think they stop being able to have kids. So it's kind of important for us to keep an eye on that. We're doing pretty good on the food stockpiles, though. Now that we gathered up all that crap out of the fields, what do we want to move out for trade? We, we can take a thousand more blackberries and a thousand parsnips. And they should still be perfectly fine. One thing that I'm not seeing a whole lot of um, storage, though, I, I really don't see a whole lot of meat here. Oh, nice. He didn't slaughter the sheep. He went and um, stabled them. Uh oh, what have I done? I marked it for sheep. I added another herdsman. Oh, because of this one. No, that's not it. It did this to me before one time as well. Zero of one, one of one, one of one, and three total. So it should even itself out. Unless the asshole's trying to work over here. No, I don't have a mark for work. Hmm. I shouldn't have to have four people um, assigned to being herdsmen, though. One, two, three. We've got these two paused until we get some cows. I don't know. Strange. 
And I also don't see an option for us to empty this either. Which is no good. We did move the sheep out of here, but I need a, an extra field for us to move them into in case there's some sort of an issue with them. Mm, shit. I don't want to put it here because I don't want it right next to the other pasture. I don't know. I, the problem that I have with the rate of reproduction in this game is that every year is four years. And I'm totally with you. Like, they don't have the internet. They have literally nothing better to do. I have not given them contraceptives. So, you know, like, we should have way more kids every four years <laughs> than we do right now. Which is another reason why I really enjoy that mod. Shit, how do I kick these guys out? Any ideas? I want to combine this herd with this herd, basically. If I take that off of being worked, then it doesn't affect it. I don't want to slaughter the damn sheep. I'm just confused on how I tell them specifically where I want them. Oh, nope. They did go and slaughter him. Fuck. Well, GG. Sorry, sheep. Maybe my bad. I don't understand, though. So I had the two sheep in here. How the hell do I tell them that I want them to move over here? Because the way that I tried it definitely didn't work. Hmm. Oh well, hopefully we'll figure it out. But I, I want to make absolute sure that we have a pasture that's open. So if nothing else, oh well. Because the last thing we need is for both of our separate herds to get sick at the same time. So olives and sunflower, we know that we can use those. Brussels sprouts is not happening. But they're four freaking thousand. I think I'm just gonna go for the hemp. And we don't really need another kind of fruit right now. So the oranges, those are kind of out. Uh, I do kind of need a nut though. I don't think sunflower seeds count as a nut, but I'm not sure. Because there's like main food groups for this game and I can't freaking remember what they are. Well, you can have all 350 of that. Um, we'll sit on the bone meal, because why not? Then... Let's give him 500 of that. And most of our parsnips. We seem to do really well on parsnips. I'll just let him hang out. Instead of dismissing him. One, two. Eight by fourteen. I really want to put one over here, but I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna. And then I'm kind of debating whether to put him on the other side of the street as well. Shit, and I was supposed to have removed that. Oh, but as far as the results of our tests, yes. With the dense orchard, we only need to go three wide. And we'll get the same number of trees as this one where we went four wide. But you need to go. Which should put me one over on farmers, right? Yep. Oh, I guess I could have left him there. Do 10. And I want to start to rotate in hemp plants. 
It's a late spring, so I don't think they're going to be able to plant it, but we'll find out. We'll see. Ah, syrup's made at the sugar house. Thank you. So we do need maple, and then we need the sugar house. Okay. It'll be a bit. It looks like they're planting them. Oh, no, they're not. I don't th oh, they are. Good. I'm going to see if we can... Uh, it's early summer right now, but I want to see if we can increase the number of um, farmers that we have and um, play some catch up here. Maybe get some hemp. So instead of one person tending the whole field, I've raised it up to four per field. I highly doubt it, though. They're an entire season behind. Might be able to get some of it. And we have a lot of spare workers, so let's look into what we're going to use the hemp for. I'm mostly interested in clothing. We're still not doing very well on clothes. So, the seamstress... Hmm... Time-honored tradition of people who provide services relating to garments and clothing. Warmth apparently has a price for townspeople who are willing to pay. The tailor... All manner of advanced clothing types. I might not be in the right uh, in the right tab. Fiber water mill is the fastest way of making products from fibers such as cloth, linen, and silk, but it must be built on the shore. So I don't have the construction material that I need for that, unfortunately. That's not what we need. Uh, let's go over to our tailor. Can you produce anything directly from hemp? Medicinal hemp, hell yeah. I'm all about it. No, I don't see anything. And I also don't see linen anywhere in here. So that might have been a waste. I should have, uh, I should have probably held out for cotton. Bummer, dude. The fuck am I going to do with all this hemp? Might just tear it down. Water farms try to get haystacks, renewable resources, flax gatherer. Yeah, I would imagine a rope, but I don't know what I would use rope for at the moment. I guess just for selling. Turn it into our uh, our cash crop. All right, so back over to refined. I don't see anything for hemp in clothing, unfortunately. This one wants flax, cotton, and silk. Weaver makes linen, cloth, and silk out of flax, cotton, and silkworm uh, cocoons. And they can also fashion rugs. It doesn't specifically say that it uses hemp. Cloth, linen, and silk. Balls. Okay, so let's go the next tab over then. Build whole components for deployment of waterside docks and wharfs. Uh, water wheel sawmill. Glassworks would be nice. Lumber mill. Brickwork. Hot blasted shaped bricks. Huh. Okay. Medieval kiln for bricks. A homeware supplier. I think that's like cutlery. And a building supplier. And another lumber mill. Fuck. Nothing in there. Might have to break down and just go look it up. These are all smithies. Fuel. Um... Oh, and various spirits and drinks. Well, nothing in there. Huh. 
It wouldn't be in homes and housing. It's not a road and uh, bridges thing. Storage, markets, and trade? No, those are end, like, point of sale places. Not manufacturing. I can't imagine it would be in food production. Flour from grain. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to do with the hemp. Other than I thought that it said we could make oil. That uses wheat, corn, barley, or sorghum. Bakery. Flour from various types of grain. Same shit. Same shit. So, nothing there. Uh, we already know all those. Animal farm. Wait, what? Animal pens? Animal pen that creates wool and occasional leather. Oh, really? A llama butcher. Well, we've already looked through these and I don't remember seeing anything for hemp. I don't know. I really doubt that it's going to be in the food stuff. Hmm. And I don't see anything with a rope icon either. Well, let's unpause the game and keep looking. Hardwood forest or uh, foresters, clay pits, greenhouses. That's all mining. That's all different types of tree. Stables. Water farms. Yeah, I don't see shit, man. It's got to be in here, though. There we go. Ropery. Where hemp flax or reeds are bound in a rope. Making rope from hemp requires slightly less raw material than flax and reeds are needed in large quantity. Is that all we can fucking do with it? Make rope? Well, I guess we're going into the rope business. Figures is the one tab that I'm that I totally overlooked. All right. We gonna get high? I don't think so. Hmm. We're gonna end up rotating these crops around, so I guess it's most important for the ropery to uh, just be close to the warehouse, isn't it? I throw you right in there for now. I don't know how to get that damn trade sheep out of my inventory either. And we need 40 lumber for that. Um, how the hell? Crap, I don't think I have any lumber. Because I'm pretty sure those are only three uh, storage things. We'll just make some. The limit's 100. Alrighty, Dezo. Have a good nap, man. The curing barn can cure hemp and marijuana. Really? And then you need a tavern of some sort to store it. No shit. Are you fudging with me? Mr. Chicken, how you doing, Reed? Hello, people. We are playing some Banished. Hope you guys are having a great day. Good to see you, Mr. Reed. Kind of an early night, isn't it? You splitting the stream up? 
Nordic school. Why am I in education? What am I doing? We're trying to figure out what to do with uh, with rope at the moment. And it's kind of going okay. Oil press for vegetable oil. Take an hour off for dinner? Nice, man. Hopefully we'll see you uh, when I get done. When you come back. Oh, God, they're so good. The um, Mega Mod that we're using, it's about a hundred different mods. Kernels, pecan, or walnut, and linseed from flax. Oh, okay, so I can't do anything with the oil press with hemp, apparently. I, did, I finally came across hemp seeds, so we bought them, and then I couldn't figure out what the hell to do with them. So far, all we've actually figured out is um, making, uh, making rope, but somebody was saying that we can... Oh, I guess you say we can turn it into marijuana, but I don't know where. Smokehouse? That would be funny. Campfire. I just looked through all of these, uh, but I was looking for something else. Village kitchen. Hmm. Oh, you can make fire bundles with it? Now that would be a lot more handy. So we need the fire bundler. I don't remember where the hell that is either. Okay, let's unpause it. Till we get our next trader. Coal furnace, a chopper, tiny chopper, bundling shed. I'm just gonna throw that on the back here too. Okay, so, ooh, apparently it's really good for making rope. Let's get somebody in there working on that. We just got our first harvest of hemp. We got about 100 per field, 211 hemp. And then once we make the rope, since we don't have anything right now that we need it for, I want them to just immediately move it directly over here for trade. If I can find it. I'm not finding it. Oh, okay. I see. I, uh, I just have to wait until we have some in our inventory. It's automatically sorted. Ah, excellent. Fire bundles from hemp. That's great. That'll give us an alternative method for um, heating the homes, which means we can trade off more firewood. So far, nobody's died of starvation or um, cold or anything, though. Just old age. Oh, and one uh, accident, and I think we had one death uh, during childbirth, too. Any other uses for hemp that we can go for? Uh, let's rotate our fields real quick. What is it, late autumn? Yeah, we got plenty of time. There we go. And our herbalist has kicked the bucket. Okay, now we have rope in our inventory, so we should be able to move rope into here. There we go, baby. Oh, I can move my sheep back over now that I've somehow mysteriously put it in the, uh, in the storage. I guess let's go for it, but I still don't understand how I get them out of here into a field that already has sheep. There we go. What do you got? More sheep? Oh my goodness. Oh man, and I can only sell sheep back to him at 250. Hmm. 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 hmm, hmm. I don't know. I am kind of tempted to buy more. 
our herd's up to about half of one uh, pasture full. And then we'll start to get meat and um, everything off of them once the, her uh, once the herd's actually full. Are we getting wool at all right now? I don't think we are. We're definitely not using wool. So I do think that we need that, that extra building then. If I can remember where the hell it was. Definitely not a statue statue carver. Was it in this menu? There's just so many things. Just for trading away? Bummer. Okay. Well, we'll just sell them off then. Thank you for letting me know. Stable for domesticated animals. Ooh, we should probably throw a stable in. Orchard Forester. Why the hell am I not using this yet? Explain to me. I guess because we have our regular foresters. But it seems like an orchard forester would be superior. Uh, shore house? Yeah, it's none of this shit. Don't need any of that stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Animal pin that creates wool and occasionally leather. Uh, they don't have a tech tree in this one. They Everything is available to you from the very beginning, so... Uh, there's no limitation on, like, what you can build other than what you have the resources to trade for. I'm just going to throw him right over here. Don't you bay at me, sheep. Uh, i got to wait until we get that trade sheep over here. That is weird though, because uh, if I buy these six trade sheep off of him, I can put them out in the pasture, just like a regular old sheep. So that sucks that you can't reclaim them from trade sheep back to a sheep sheep. Come on, bring me some rope and my damn sheep. What are you doing? Uh oh. Okay, good. Saying uh oh, because uh, I thought maybe our inventory was full. What is our parsnip target at? Two thousand? Okay, that's fine. Because we're getting a little low on food. Which is bad. Hmm. I don't know. I only have the one worker there. May have to assign a couple more people temporarily. Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like we harvested everything. Oh no, it's early spring. Never mind. It was just a very mild winter, apparently. Decided to get all snowy before it got warm out. Time to jump back into Eve. GG, sir. Kick some ass. Grind that money. Get them skills. Where the hell is my sheep? <laughs> Move it. I wonder if this auto updates. Maybe I have to switch out and switch back over. No. There they are. Now they're bringing stuff. Cool. Yeah, so even though we moved the sheep back over, it's not over here in the holding pen where we, uh, where they usually go when we buy, uh, animals. I'm gonna see if I can trade him in for a proper sheep. 
We have an improper sheep at the moment. Because I'm trying to figure out how the hell I move him into the field that I want him in. I'm going to lower that back down to one worker. And we should no longer be getting trade sheep. Or have trade sheep. So we should be able to lower that to zero. We don't have any more trade sheep, do we? No. Okay, good. A broken sheep. Our sheep are broken sheep. So right now we have trade sheep in this pasture. But what I'm not getting is how the hell do I move the one that we just purchased out of storage and into that? I'd assume that the um, herdsman would just go over and grab them out of there. I don't know. Let's give him more time. Maybe he will. Or she. Let me give him one extra worker and we'll see if they do it. Oh, cool. Okay. They are moving out. So I could have just left them. The reason that we ended up with that one before, I had moved him into this pen to empty this pen out, but I didn't have an option to empty this pen out because we didn't have an empty pen. So I couldn't transfer him from here to here for some reason. Very annoy. And unfortunately, the dude left, or I would have gone and bought more sheep from him. But now we know. Okay, so this is incredibly inefficient, though. We don't need a third herdsman at the moment. We only have two. We have a flock of ducks over here, and then we've got our sheep over here. What are we waiting on here? Ah, frick. We need domesticated animals. Where did we just see that? An animal shed will give you eggs and milk. Sheep shed for wool, and we just built our first one of those. Uh, we definitely don't need pasture. Don't need cheese. Don't need any of those. Those. Animal pen that creates eggs and occasional feathers. Let's throw one of those down. It's going to need four domesticated animal too. That's what we're looking for at the moment. Because I just saw it, but there's so many flipping options, you know? I think it was in here, wasn't it? Old dairy, ketchup, milk and barn, dairy parlor. Let's start down here. Need a baker to produce bread. Need a worker to produce a range of meals. Soup kitchen. Village gruel kitchen. Sugar house. Celtic campfire. Crap. <laughs> Garden workplace. Preservist. Bakery. Market barbecue and uh, soup thing. Okay, so it's not in this tab. Oil press. Different kind of oil press. Let's check in here. We're looking for domesticated animals. I didn't even bother to look at luxury production other than um, the alcohol options. But it looks like for the most part that's about it. A brewery and alehouse, pub kitchen. Where tobacco is air cured into pipe tobacco. Yeah, I don't think we can use our hemp for marijuana. It looks like it's an adaptation of the tobacco thing, but I'm kind of surprised, like, and I could totally be wrong. It's probably in here somewhere, because one of the mods on the list is uh, legalized marijuana or something like that. Okay, definitely don't need that. Don't need homewares, I don't think. Ah, it's just too many options. I need a, a sort or search feature. Coopers do barrels, crates. OK, 
Okay, and that's candles. This is looking like we're in the right area again, though. Joiner, Potter, Chandlery, and Statue Carver. Well, fuck. I guess I'll unpause it. If any of you guys feel like looking at the wiki, let me know if you find uh, domesticated animals. Because it seems like it should be in here, but holy shit, there's just so many things. Oh, the stable will. Is it a special kind of stable? So it's not in food refining. Where the hell is the stable? <laughs> Milk barn, dairy parlor. At least we've narrowed it down. Thank you for that. Garden workplace. Oh, God. And on tonight's stream, we'll look through options. There they fucking are. Isn't that it? Stable. Finally. But I need domesticated animals to be able to build one. So then we need a wild shepherd. I'm gonna just throw that back here, even though it's kind of cutting into that one forester's stuff. You wish you could be stable? Me too. Oh, you're totally right. Provide feed to generate a domesticated animal resource. Brick texture garden wall stable. Use to generate fertilizer. And that one's also for fertilizer. So we want the beginner one first. Nah, this will be fine. Want to go for the big stables first? Oh shit, I forgot. You should be doing firewood. Everybody's gonna die. No big deal, we're all just gonna die. And it's gotta be about time for more homes. I think that's about all I want to put over here for now, though. Oops. I'll put the upstairs on them. And I think uh, any of the rest of our homes, we'll just build a road around or in between something. I guess I left enough room there. Um, and we'll go across the river. Because I really like having our log production or at least some of it, uh, the Forester Lodge being right in between town and where we make our firewood. So I don't want to mess him up too badly. All right. We got a trader, and he's got horses. I don't think I want horses, though. I think I want to hold out, and for our two big pastures, I want, uh, I want to keep those empty for cows later on. Or bison, or, you know, anything cow adjacent. Getting that harvest in. How are we doing on students? 15 students. All right. It's looking up. I think I'll take out the, uh, the trees over here with more homes here, too. Oh, nice. You found a really close by wormhole. Excellent. Good luck. I think they added wormholes in right after I stopped playing Eve. So I haven't got an opportunity to mess with them myself. Cool. And we store fire bundles outside. Oh, nice. Millions of peaches. Peaches for us. And we're leveling out at about a thousand of everything else other than pepper. We're getting a pretty damn decent amount of pepper. So let's move about 500 of that over here for a future trade. How 
How are we doing on storage space? Probably about time for us to put it in our big barn. Okay, so let's think this through. We're going to end up with two places to fish off of this lake. And another one down here. Well, it'll be as far as it needs to be. So probably right in there. And that'll be constant food storage that we're going to uh, that we're gonna need. Then we've got all these guys. So I'm kind of thinking our big barn down in here maybe. It's huge. It's a ma major buku. Bam. Bam, baby. It'd actually fit really well over here, wouldn't it? Either there or uh, over here. Hmm. But I do kind of like having this uh, storage right in the middle of town as well. So I might just say fuck it and put it all the way up here. We could run the road straight down the middle, can't we? Oh, no, we can't. It doesn't go all the way through. Bummer. Otherwise, I'd put it right there in the middle of the road. Well, we have another trader that's shown up. I think I'm going to put it right here. Because I believe we have enough room for a road from here that'll go straight into the center of it. And everything else that we've already produced is pretty well centered or, you know, that's the center of all of it. Yes, we got hazelnuts. Sweet. And we're totally going to buy them. We need a nut. <laughs> and we'll pay for them with flowers. Um, Probably just go the easy way. Do <laughs> flowers and, uh, oh shit, and herbs. I just noticed that we have a boatload of extra herbs. Badass. Okay, so now we need more orchards. Yeah, I think I might do a little barn down here. Maybe. I don't know. So, let's go dense orchard again. We only, we know that we only need three um, spaces for it. I can't recall how wide I made these. 15 by 4 on the orchard, and I think these are 16 wide, aren't they? Are they? No, they're 15 wide. Okay. So I'm only going to do 15 by 3, and then we'll have a walkway. That'll work. Three little micro orchards. We have 16 laborers. I sure am dragging my feet on expansion. So they should pound out this uh, storage facility pretty quick, but I need to get a quarry in. I need to get just some stone in general here. Let's gather. Let's grab this. And that. Uh, we're doing okay on iron ore. 325 iron ore at the moment. And we're pretty low on wood as well. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Just so that we don't get too far behind on it. Because now I'm nervous that while they build that, we're going to run out of firewood completely. I might actually have to put in another facility for us to produce firewood from because we're at our max number of people. But I don't know if I do because I had set that over to build the better um, uh, lumber for construction. And I had totally overlooked it. 
So we might be able to keep up with firewood demand right now, but we might not. Wow. Damn. Early spring already. So I'm going to have to pause it. And it's kind of a waste. It's going to take a while for those trees to grow back, but um, I'm going to switch these over to two different um, crops. Peaches and then hazelnuts right next door. Ah, fuckles. I didn't leave enough of a space in between this one. So I need to tear that out. Because I want two spaces in between them, just in case we have an infestation. I don't want it to spread from orchard to orchard. I want it to just affect one orchard. Uh, now I forgot where the hell I need to go. Actually, that'll be fine. 17, 18. Um, no, no, no. You need to go down to one worker. And so do you. There we go. It'll do. For now. Are we there on sheep yet? Hell no. 12 out of 16. Still don't have a max herd. So the shepherd here, hopefully, <laughs> is going to help us out with, um, oh yeah, we should max that out too since we have so many people. Uh, the shepherd here is going to go find domesticated animals and we'll use those to build the stable. And then we also need them for the egg pen and the wool pen. Yeah, we do great on firewood. Nothing to worry about. We're using the stone as quickly as we can gather it till we get this big bad boy up. 144. And I wonder if we should put in a regular trading dock yet. So we got the hazelnuts off of this guy. I'm once again tempted to buy the chickpea because I think that they grow really quickly. But since I'm not positive, I don't think I'm going to. And I don't know what a camellia seed is. I'm assuming it's a seed for a camellia plant, but I have no idea what the hell a camellia is. So I think we're good, good, <laughs> good on that one. Thank you, sir. Nice. We've got a younger generation moving into our new homes. Hopefully keeping us stocked up with babies and students. Oh wow, the grammar school is doing fantastic. Okay, so back over to streets or roads or whatever. I wanna go into bridges. I'd like to, uh, eventually we'll upgrade all of these to stone. So I wanna build the bridge out of stone, even though we're a little bit low on it. We have a shitload of workers, should be okay. Tiny stone bridge, wooden, uh, sorry, stone and wood bridge. Bridge crossing, brick and wood. Where the fuck, there the fuck. I just want a st stone bridge, man. Just give me a stone bridge. Oh, wow. That's really wide. Hmm. See, I put these houses over, I think, a little bit too far. And I'd rather not have the ro road wind around that. I'd rather have it just come up here and go straight across, so. We'll just chuck it in there. Little path in. Oh, good luck, Jax. I do hope it pays off, sir. So I want to get that bridge in. Um, and then we'll figure out where our next fisherman's spot is going to go. So I think we can put one in there without it overlapping too badly. And we've got a couple other things that we can use uh, water for. Um, I also had a hill over here, right? Yeah, the edge of the map. 
So we'll put in our first mines over here. And that should be far enough away from many of our housing. I'd like to put one in there too, but I kind of think that the housing needs to come out this way. I guess we could just avoid it though, because we could always fill this in with housing. And that should still be close enough for these two little hills. And then we're on the edge of the map over this side. Hmm. I hadn't noticed the merchant. What's up, dude? Ooh, one of my favorite nuts, pistachios. We don't really need oranges or apples. And we've already got hazelnuts, so I don't think I'm going to buy the pistachios. Uh, and I have no idea if mushrooms or Brussels sprouts are really all that good, so we'll just pass up on it. We'll wait it out. What the hell? Bobby? Where did all the food go? Whoa. Let's move... Um, let's move these peppers. Oh, we don't actually have any peppers, so we'll just set that over to zero. We'll zero that out and move the 1,300 parsnips back over as well. I'm kind of nervous here. We are going to have a harvest, though. And we have a shitload of workers. So we'll have the workers go out and collect wild foods. Buttload of them. Look at all the wild foods, guys. Just chilling out there. Go get that wild food. They're still working on cutting down all those trees, but... See how it goes. I don't remember how many, uh like food items they move at a time but I think it's a lot so we should have that whole thousand back into the main storage pretty quickly and what's our hold up here still stone okay so they haven't got around to uh, collecting that yet but that's all right at least I don't think they have maybe they already did and we already used it I guess we'll get them queued up for grabbing all of that Really working the crap out of this tiny little stockpile here, though. It's going pretty good. So we're not going to see any payoff from either of the hazelnut orchards or the uh, the new peach orchard for a while. Be a couple of years before we actually get any food off of them. And no trader coming in. Till next season, I guess. I guess that was our autumn trader. So I'm hoping the shepherd pays off. I don't see any domesticated animals, though. I guess if we did have him, he would move him directly into one of these. Ah, nice. He's got three out of four there. Shucks. We did not harvest all of our blackberries or all of our parsnips. I wonder why. Hmm. I don't think they've ever done so poorly. So we better rotate our crops then. Priority tool. Yeah. Pick all that crap up out of the field. We're at 48% full on our storage. I just moved all that food over, and that harvest went pretty well, but I kinda wanna let it just lie for now. I don't wanna I don't wanna go and pull all of our parsnips yet. See if we can afford anything this guy's got. Hmm, we can. We don't particularly need anything he's got, though. 
I am a little bit tempted to go for a rose farm. Since it'll just turn into flowers, which eventually we'll use for perfume. And in the meantime, uh, it'll just be a dedicated trade good. But it's three grand. Fuck that. Thank you anyway, sir. More people dying of old age. Thankfully not of starvation or anything though. Okay. What the hell are we storing so much of? It's gotta be reeds. That's one of them. We have 530 things that we can make clothing out of. I think it's the reeds and the feather. Because I just noticed that we are seriously low on clothing. Let's see, we won't produce wool until we finish uh, this little building here, I don't think. For whatever reason, we don't just get wool out of this, I don't... I don't believe, I don't know. Controls the amount of stored textiles. Once the limit is reached, production will cease. But I think that that actually means, like, uh, leathers. I'm gonna bump that up, though. And I'm gonna move the reeds. Let's see. Uh, we'll move all the reeds out. A thousand of those. Feathers, wherever the hell they are. There they are. Just clear up some room in that until we're finished building the new barn. Which is actually going to be before we even clear that one out. Excellent. All the rope should be moved out. Reed should be moved out. And all the feathers and flowers. Shucks. Can I assign any more hunters? I don't think I can. So probably time for our next hunting lodge. But how far off are we on domesticated animals? We just need one freaking more. And then we'll have the wool pen. And that'll help us get wool from these sheep. And then we should also start to be, uh, uh, start to get leather. Because we'll actually start to slaughter the uh, the sheep once we get up to max. I could just lower that, but... I want to get up to 16 so that we're at max production on uh, wool and uh, leather. And then I'm kind of thinking another group of houses down here. To relieve some of the congestion up in this area. Oh my god, it's, it's all old folks living downtown. That's probably why we're having a problem with our farms. No, they're still working. I guess they just work to death. I was thinking maybe the farmers have to live too far away, but... It's not that bad. We do need more homes. How are we doing on that bridge? We're not doing dick on that bridge. Okay. I'm going to put in some more homes. And I think I'm going to put them in back here. Because uh, we're going to end up with a, another whole industry thing going. I think, I'm thinking a fisher hut there. One there. There. And there. And then uh, out on the... Uh, out on the river... Uh, what is it called? A shore house? For mussels and clams and stuff like that. Thinking that's what we want. I'm just comparing the different ones. Medieval pond. Tiny fishing place. That's not what we want. We could get a water pump too. Apparently, water is edible. So it's just one more thing that people can eat. 
Hmm. Gotta be built next to a stream or a river. It employs one to two workers who collect the water. Hunting cabin, tiny gatherer, tiny hunter, hunter cabin, gatherer hut, an apiary, and honey seeker. Well, let's start off with the fishing docks. I'm going to pause the majority of these. I want to find, like, one of our most convenient locations, and then we'll use that as the basis for where we set the others. So that one will go there. We'll have one here, and we'll probably put orchards in the middle there. Looks like that one can go in there just fine. And then next one will go over here. I just wanted those in before I decide where I want to put homes. And then we'll pause them. Well, shit, we have 26 laborers. We probably ought to just get them working, huh? Damn, six and a half million dollars? Excellent. GG. Should I square those up? Probably. That'll end up bugging me later, won't it? And we'll put in our first paths for the um, for the farm stuff. Just hadn't quite got around to bothering yet. Let's see. Oh, damn it. So I guess the crossroad will be in here. I thought that I'd space that a little bit better. But it didn't. You can go there. This is a too wide path because of the orchards. That'll keep the builders busy for a little bit. And the next two things that I want to build are probably going to be the um, quarry and a mine. We still hadn't even got around to it yet. Really? Huh. I thought I'd left room for a walkway there, but apparently not. That's okay though. Doesn't really matter. Sheep shed. The hell did I build a sheep shed for? Oh, because they give us wool. I need that. And then the wool pen should give us wool as well, but it looks like the wool pen is going to consume food to do it. Let's hope that's okay. We are getting some phenomenal harvest. But we're also getting to the point where we consume a hell of a lot of food ourselves. Bah. Oh yeah. That can be paused for sure. Oh damn it. I think I missed a merchant. Oh no I didn't. Usually there's a little blue button down here when a merchant's already over there. 
Peppers are a good one. But I already have it. Sweet potatoes, figs, pineapples. And quinces, uh, that's another orchard fruit, apparently. We had to look it up the other day. I've never seen a quince. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. Thank you, though. What specifically do we need right now? Other than, you know, our, our mine. We definitely need a mine and a quarry, like, post-haste. Now that we're getting the wool in, hopefully this guy will be fine. Well, let's make sure that we are getting wool. Might take a while for it to actually generate it. You're going to put that sheep back, right? Is this like the, the Minecraft pre-shears version of how you collect wool? I hope not. No, I think they just keep it. That was one hard working sheep. Alright, we're getting a little bit of it. So instead of hide coats for a little while, well, of course, when I go to do that, we're, we've got plenty of leather. Uh, but next time we notice that uh, this is falling behind, we'll switch it over to wool. I have crafted items, apparently. I wonder if the shepherd and his domesticated animals count as a crafted item. What else do we have? Uh, don't see anything there. Or there. I would... Oh, it, it must be rope. Yeah, we have eight rope that's waiting to go um, get moved out to the dock for trade. Okay. Kind of thinking, like, should we start to stockpile one or the other? There we go. So we're out of leather, and I want you to now produce wool coats. Or we could just put them together and produce warm coats, I guess. But I think we're pr going to produce much more wool than we are leather. Let's do wool coats for now. We'll see if we can get up to the 50 clothing uh, limit here. And clothing might actually end up being a good export for us, depending on how well that goes. Long as we can keep a bunch of sheeps around. Herbs, cherries, hazelnuts, and apples. We don't need any of those. Bummer. What we really need right now are beans, uh, corn, cabbage. We need wheat. I had unfortunately passed up an opportunity to buy wheat because I was more focused on having the resources available for us to um, purchase, f you know, stuff that was more food-oriented rather than beer-oriented. Speaking of beer, though, it's about time for me to get beer-oriented. Time show does fly. Do another house on the other side of the path there. I've never had one where I've had this many freaking spare laborers. So, ores and mines. We have decisions to make. Well, if it's not food, it should be. So the quarry we can't remove. We have a couple of different options though. The multi-quarry can be removed and we can use it to mine iron, coal, and stone at the same fucking time. Shut up. Oh wow. It's a big boy. Real, real big boy. Hmm. I think I want it all the way over here. It doesn't have a circle around it, so I don't think it's going to piss people off if they have to live by it. 
Yeah, me too, Legion. I was a little disappointed that I had taken such a huge break from it and came back to kind of the same stuff that there was before. They'd only done one update, I think. It is... It is unfortunate. This game could have continued to go pretty fucking far. It's crazy how far that mods brought this game, though. Like, gotta love those guys. But regardless, fantastic game. And I can kind of understand, you know. Once, uh, once sales start to dip, you just kind of gotta call it, you know. Call the game complete. Uh, I don't want that dirt road in there because the location of the dirt road that leads down to this fishery will kind of be determined by the location of all the homes in the backside here. But I am thinking that we need barns. Some sort of storage so that we can get resources down to these, uh, this little town that'll go in here. I'm using Mega Mod. Uh, you, you're going to want to get it off of the website for the guys that did Colonial Charter. I can't think of the name of the developers off the top of my head. Uh, because the one on Steam is like version 0.6 or something like that. And it's up to version 8.1. So don't get the one off of Steam. But get the one off of their uh, website. You have to sign up for an account. And it's like a gig and a half download. And it's literally over 100 mods. All, all put together. All working well. Apples, herbs, and cherries this time. Yeah, we don't need any of that either, unfortunately. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Kral. Matter of fact, your name sounds really familiar. Are you one of the developers or a mod maker? Or maybe it's just similar to one. I didn't do a whole lot of research before I hopped into it, unfortunately, but it seems to ring a bell. Possibly. <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you, sir. So we got the one problem taken care of. Oh no, that can do all three at once. Let's see how this works out. The multi-quarry. Hey, what's up, Deadly? Almost got it banged out. We have plenty of workers. We should be able to max this thing out. I didn't even notice if we harvested everything that that year. Crap. Could be a millionaire and no one's gonna tell you. Aw. Damn, we're going to need a second school down there, too. Uh, maybe not. They'll walk quite a ways. By the time we get it all filled in, I think we will, though. Holy moly, we can put 15 people to work down here. Let's do it. So our stone limit right now is at 200. Iron's at 200. And what is the minerals or ores? Oh, that must be iron ore. Okay. Let's just raise that one up. Mm. Do I really want to, though? I don't think that I do. I wonder how that's going to work. Like, if they hit one limit, I wonder if they go in and can specifically go for one thing. Say I had a limit of zero on iron and minerals and ores. Um, I wonder if they would just mine stone out of it. Or if once they hit one of the limits, they just say, oh, we're not working. Yeah, it looks like they're just now going to work. So we'll bump that back up. Clothes banished in your chrome clothes. Weird. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, I think I'm going to still hold out. We're looking for cattle. We're going to be a little conservative here on the uh, pasture space for now. 
Now, is there anything I can do in the refining process to make this go a little bit more quickly? Log, iron, and coal. And we can start to produce steel tools. Just because I'm a little... Um, I'm a little worried that we're going to be maxed out on that too frequently. So how can we best invest... Our logs and iron and coal. Oh, wait. I think we need a coal mine, don't we? Because we're not producing coal. We're producing um, industrial fuel. So we can make, like, a musket. But we can't do the same thing to make um, steel stuff. Yeah, so I don't see a better alternative for now until we get coal. And that's one thing that this thing doesn't do. I don't think the multi-quarry... see if I can find it again. So many options. Oh no, it will get coal. I'll be dang. Alright, baby. We're gonna go for hardened steel tools. We'll see if we can uh, produce enough of them. Do I want to raise it up, though? No, I think 50 is fine. Now, the change over here on the tailor shop seems to be working out really well. We're getting a heck of a lot of wool. Wow, and a lot of wool to spare as well. So once we get a decent stockpile of leather, we'll make some um, even better coats for a while. When you went to the website, nothing happened? Oh, for the mod? Um... I can't remember off the top of my head. If you want, I'll walk you through it when I get done, though. But it was pretty easy to find. It's got a big blue icon. It's called Mega Mod, and you uh, you do need to make an account for it, and then you should be able to download it. At least I'm pretty sure that I had to have an account before I got a download link. Or no, I hadn't noticed that these guys were so close to a facility that's going to make them unhappy. Oh well. What are you going to do? Oh god, Darner the Gatherer ate some poisonous berries and died. Well, at least he went out for a good cause. Now we know not to eat those berries. So I'm not doing anything right now, like having him go and collect resources, even though we have so many laborers. Just because I'm keeping an eye on how things how steady things are staying now that we have the the new quarry going because I might just end up bumping down the number of people that work at the quarry oh it said it was private oh weird yeah it shouldn't do that oh okay just needed HTTPS So yeah, as far as uh, far as my thoughts on it so far, it takes about two days to get used to it, two or three days to start getting used to it. I guess I, I definitely can't claim that I'm used to it, and I would like to find oh beef cows. I would like to find an age mod that's compatible with it. I think that would make it just absolutely fantastic. Two fifty. And we've got another... Damn. So I want to go up to a 1,000 on that. And I want to get a bunch of people helping us out with moving all that. I'm going to try to buy all the moo cows. Oh, how kind of you, Kral. Thank you. Kral posted a direct link so that if you don't really want to make an account, you don't need to. I would, though, because there's a lot of great information on that website. But if you're just looking to grab it and check it out real quick, it's pretty darn convenient. I still don't think I'm going to end up uh, selling tools. I don't know. It depends. Like, if I can tear that out and then place another one where it was to, you know, in effect, make it an unlimited quarry, then maybe we'll start to export tools in trade. For now, though, I don't think so. What are we What are we sitting on here, though? What What do we got? 
We got a little bit. Nah, we don't really have a whole lot of excess anything. Definitely producing a hell of a lot of trade sheep, though. You can have those. Since I don't know of anything better to do with them. I'll just bump it up to 20 so that we'll move about 20 of them over there at a time. And then let's take this with us. I'm just looking for anything that we have like a huge overabundance of. Where's our feathers? Okay, so the feathers are already going to be moved out. Uh, the rope should likewise be moved out. Especially now that we have five people working in there. We don't really have a whole, like, a large abundance of food anymore. Wow, that's a boatload more feathers. That's okay, though. I'm thinking it's time to expand on the uh, farm areas. I think we're okay on orchards for now, but I'll probably continue to put them in front here. Um, but I think I want to put in some more housing and some more farms. Probably a full set of four more fields. We're going to need to go and gather some stone. Oh, that's an even better spot. Cool. For another crossroad. That'll lead us over close enough that we can start to tap into that uh, mountain there. And let's rotate our fields. I'm pretty sure that we didn't miss any of our harvest, but might as well. Cool. Oh, you got it through Steam? I don't think that the Steam one is the same one, but I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Crow confirmed it. Uh, just by the version number, the one that you can get off of the website is version 8. All right. Nope, not all right. We're going to have to wait a little while. But we might as well grab what we can for now, all right? You can have our blackberries. Uh, let's just dump all this stuff on there and we'll see what we end up with. I don't math. Or type, apparently. Eighty-six over. Well, that's fine. Well, you can have all the bone meal. I don't give a shit about the bone meal. I'm going to keep some of the herbs, though. And then I'm going to bump down the... Um... Oh, it's doing a 20 at a time. You troll. Sorry, I have an awkward setup for playing video games. It's not working out when I have to type... That'll give us five. That's pretty darn good. Then we're gonna go back over to inventory, and I don't want to go and clear out all of our uh, all of our food yet. So we just check that, and I don't really have fifteen hundred uh, blackberries to spare. Okay, I'm gonna bump this down to seven fifty. That'll clear us out of herbs, but only for a moment. I guess I can move that so that it's easier for you guys to see what I'm looking at. Um, hmm. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm going to wait, though, before I move these cows out. No, no, we figured it out. Uh, we need to unpause these two. And we'll stop work on one. 
Uh, but the other one will be for our new cows. Then as soon as we get those sheep over here, I would like to trade them in for that other cow. If he's still around by the time they do it. Maybe the rope too. No, I think we had enough sheep that we can trade them straight across and then just do um, flowers for the rest or feathers. I don't know. I'm going to clear out a hell of a lot more inventory space just uh, trading them away, aren't I? Yeah, let's go for it. You can have our 380 feathers. Of course, I don't know how inventory works. If there's like a weight value involved, I would imagine a cow weighs quite a bit more than... Uh... <laughs> oh, there. Cow weighs quite a bit more than a bundle of herbs, but you need 20 more. 45. Come here, cow. Cool. We can just dismiss him. I would have made an order for it, uh, but I didn't want to pay any extra. Cheapskate. They can just chill up there until one of these gets built. Uh, we're falling behind on wood, though. Guess let's cut some more of this out. And we'll trim along here where it's going to end up being replanted. I'm amazed, like, knock on wood, but uh, I am a little bit amazed that we haven't been hit by a plague or anything yet. I'm going to chop some of this out too. It'll unfortunately all be cutting into the forester lodge, but... Um, we are really low on firewood. I don't know, you think I should bump some of these builders off of there? Get some of the gathering a little bit more quickly. Nice, early spring. So that bright flash, I wonder if that was um, the game momentarily going to um, the end of winter and then fading into spring. There was like this weird like lightning flash thing that we were having happen. Uh oh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get us working on the next one too. Cause I don't know if we're actually keeping up right now. Oh wait wait wait. Do I have this maxed out? The bundler? Right now he's using our hemp, but, uh, oh, okay, the other thing that we can use is reeds, and I've been moving all that out of our inventory. And I don't even think we really have any stockpiled. Well, we have 192. We can move it back and try to, uh, get some fire bundles out of it. Oh, man. Yeah, that'd be a really difficult thing for this game. There's not a whole lot of options, either. Unfortunately, when it comes to like versus the options that you get in RimWorld and this one would be like, I don't know, a plague happens or a disaster of some kind or because uh, your traders show up seasonally. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe you could have people vote on whether you're going to have a baby this, you know, at that time or something, but it would be neat. I just don't know if that would be a, a very good option for a game like this. Cut them freaking trees down. Chop that firewood, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna build a second one. So instead of the uh, water wheel sawmill this time, let's go with the other kind of sawmill. It says that it that it goes pretty quickly. And we'll put that one a little bit closer to town. I'm gonna just put it in with all this other production stuff for now. I don't see a circle around it, so hopefully nobody will get pissed off about it. And that'll be mostly fed from the forester hut up here. I 
I'm gonna max both of these out because I think we can have three people work in there. Hey, nice. We got another trader. We have so many damn spare people right now. I may as well put them to proper work. Oh my goodness. He brought all kinds of stuff. Corn. I definitely got my eye on the corn and the white mulberry. Hmm. Tempted to kick him out of here because he brought turnips, but I would really like to get both of those. I do not have the money for it, though. I think I can get one. Can you, like, shift-click to max or something? Control-click? No. It's not usually that big of a deal. It's just I'm in an awkward position for typing. Oh, we're looking pretty good. 54.91. Damn, we're so close. We're about a thousand bucks short of being able to get both. So if I have to prioritize, I want to get the white mulberry. Because, um... We'll need white mulberry to be able to put silkworms, uh, to get silkworms going, and then we'll get silk from them. Uh, whereas with corn, you know, corn's great, but we do already have a couple of, uh, like, we've already got pepper, you know? Uh, I would like to get corn, cabbage, and then I really need to look into some of these other foods too, like tomatoes, so that we can get ketchup. Uh, not sure what you do with roots. Nobody wants a turnip. I wouldn't do that to my people. <laughs> so let's take some of these away. We'll buy one and, uh, hopefully we'll be able to buy the other two. But we won't be able to afford it right up front. I guess I give him a tip, right? There we go. So we got one of our targets, and then um, we'll try to get those corn seeds too, if we can. So we're gonna want more orchards. I think I might just put them in here. Whoa, you're a big boy. We won't need that right away. We need the um, white mulberry to to build it. That's that 10-odd thing over there, I think. That hurts cocoons. Honestly, it's been years since I've messed with that. Orchard foresters. No, we don't want that. Am I in the wrong spot? Totally am. Because I think we just do a, a regular for, um, orchard. Yeah, we totally do. Cool. So I want two spaces in between those two orchards. And I want this guy... 15 by 4 again, I think. Or, sorry, 15 by 3 again, I think. Then I want... 1, 2... To do that right. Oh, that one's peaches? Okay, so I want you to be white mulberry then. Because I I don't know, I feel like we still need to spread them out, even though we have two spaces in there. I'm not actually sure if that's far enough away. So that would make you hazelnut. And then we'll have one extra, otherwise I'd have two orchards that are right alongside one another. Oh no, Bradders, I'm sorry. I feel you though, man. I'm I'm having 
still having a hell of a time adjusting to uh, an afternoon stream or an evening stream. It's kicking my ass. Good to see you though, man. Trying to think of how I can do this without tearing one of these out, and there's really no way. That's nah, good. We'll just do both of these white mulberry for now. We'll see how it goes. I guess we'll just take it as a test case. Hopefully, the any sort of disease or blight won't be able to spread from field to field. But I'm not really positive. Okay, we're bringing in more goods. 250 on the trade sheep, and we're up to seven of them. Is that going to be enough? 1750? I don't think it is. Damn. I need to come up with another roughly a thousand. About 1300 bucks. Oh, and I'm not moving anything important into here, am I? Oh, wow. I hadn't noticed that we could scroll it. Crap, I wonder how many times I missed out on additional trade goods. Whoopsie. Now that we bought that, there's lime seeds. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even bothered scrolling it. Hmm. Hmm. So we're moving all of our bone meal, feathers, flowers, herbs. Uh, herbs over to 750. And we're currently out, so I actually want to get rid of that. Otherwise, our health will plummet. I just saw it. There it is. So, I don't think we're going to be able to do it unless we end up with more trade sheep. Oh, nice. Saving up for a switch. Uh, Deb's daughter just bought one. They freaking love it. I've heard a lot of good good things about uh, the switch okay and let's check out our inventories I mean tools could trade in tools um, no I'm definitely thinking wool coat faux show inventory wool coat Let's move all the wool coats out that we have right now. We have a boatload of extra wool. We've got 54 wool coats. But I don't see any additional wool over here. Just the 172. How much does it cost to make a coat? Oh, it only costs two? Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're in the wool coat business, boys. This is happening. That'll totally pay for it. And that's a fairly uh, freaking renewable resource. Of course, I don't know what a wool coat trades for. It might only trade for one. Oh, nice. They trade for 15. That's excellent. Dig it. You just hang out there, man. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. I don't know if you'll hang out for an entire season or if it's just like a half a season. But it's early summer now. There we go. Oh man, am I still short? I might just barely still be short. Throw in our one bone meal. We got no feathers, no reeds. Shit. Oh, nice. I hadn't given him all of our rope. We're good. And you want four more? Okay, so I gotta go up to 18 on this. <laughs> Math with banished. And we'll keep some of our... Ah, fuck it. Take it. 
You can have it, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Sorry about that. Uh, get the hell out of here before you stress me out. <laughs> okay, so additional farm fields now. I'm a little tempted to bring them down this way and just fill in this whole area. Because I know that if we put a mine over here, we're not going to want any of our homes very close to it. Let's get an idea of what the radius on that is. Hmm, just about to the edge of where we clear cut. So that could work out really well for us because we can fit additional homes all in here on the other side of uh, some more farms. But first I want a field. Uh, like I said, first I want to figure out where the hell you go to put in a field. And then I can't remember how big I was making these 8x14. Two homes and then a second field. And um, it's early summer, so we don't need to rotate the new crop in quite yet. But I'm going to continue to do this all the way down for a little ways. it's kind of a lot of houses but not really if we're gonna have fields over here so that nobody has to live too close to the uh, the mountain this is four homes this will be four homes four more four down here and we could probably sneak some in over here too if we need to might even be able to put in a second uh, forestry area maybe we'll see how it works what the hell is over here? Oh, okay. There's a little hill there. Hmm. Now, I'd seen a flatten tool. But I've never used it before, so I'm going to save the game before I mess around with it. If I can find it. There it is. Just in case I totally screw the pooch. Flattened terrain, including mountain trees, instantly destroys all resources. Be careful. Use your own risk. Flattened terrain, water and holes come up, mountains come down. Use this to remove structures. Oh, use the remove structures tool to delete yellow icons after terrain has been flattened. Use this tool very carefully as you cannot undo your actions. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I can't do that. So are they going to come over and flatten it? Like it instantly did it over here. So maybe I just do it a strip at a time. Oh, I see it's got stuff on it. Because I don't seem to be able to click on it. Cool. Oh, thank you, Crow. That is neat. Pretty sure that should even everything out all the way down. No, 
Now hopefully that won't be a problem that these have a slope on the end now. Oh neat, I just noticed the beehive down here. So I think that's as flat as it's going to get, but I'm not sure. What about that? Oh, okay. So a little bit less room for error on the other one. I don't know, it looks pretty flat to me. And then remove structures to get rid of these. That's sweet. I like it. Oh, thank you. on stone we're still doing absolutely terrible on stone we have 15 spare laborers I'm thinking another quarry but devoted specifically to stone because I'd really like to start building stone homes and upgrading all of our roads uh, and pathways to stone pathways Oh, I put the last set in too far over. There's a bit of an offset there. Yeah, that is handy as hell. Cool. Oh, near. Well, we're going to rotate the crops anyway, but that sucks. And that's probably the reason. I want the laborers picking all that stuff up, and I totally forgot to toggle it this whole time. So I'm a silly goose. Oh, our herdsman took a digger. Old age. One, two, three. I would like to get the fourth one in. I'm going to do one more set here. Just the, uh, just the fields though. That's a shitload of houses. Oh no. I spaced the field improperly. It's not a big deal for these ones, but I do want the double spaces in between on the upper one. These two are next to pastures, though, so they should be okay. They're two away, or, well, way more than two away from any other field of their uh, type. So I think they'll be fine. This guy, though, you gotta go over here, man. And then room in the middle for additional homes. Okay, so let's get a new rotation going here. And I'm just kind of going in order one way and then the other. Just makes it easier in the long run. Got a merchant. We'll set the rest of those up shortly. Ah, with additional sheep, but 
he showed up just a little bit too late. We actually have finally got our um, herd of sheep all the way up to max size, and I totally forgot to come in and put our cows out. Beef cows, baby. They've just been sitting up here in storage that whole time because I'm an idiot. So that was parsnips. That means that one will be corn. I suppose I could put a road in for those two because I don't think we're going to actually get people down there fast enough. I don't know, maybe since we have those additional homes now. Or at least we'll have them shortly. Okay, that one was corn. Hemp. Pepper. And this would be blackberries. Oh, fuckles. Oh, really? Only one person works at this sawmill? Oh, I think it defaults to that, though. So I just got to bump this up to... I thought that it was three max on this one. And it doesn't do me any fucking good for him to be doing lumber. I need you on firewood, dude. Eek. Okay, good. At least that one's still on firewood, too. It's early spring, but... Uh, man, I hadn't noticed that we didn't have enough um, firewood for any of those. That was a huge oversight. I am El Fuck Opo. We'll do a crossroad and a crossroad. Only one row of houses in here, but I think it fits well. Oh, and I didn't need that gap there, did I? I think this one will be okay. Let's look at the uh, the mine again. So like the furthest that I would put this mine down, probably right there. So yeah, we can do another little block of houses in here, but I don't want any houses in here. Stop dying of old age. I swear they're doing it just to irk me. <laughs> then um, you're blackberries. There we go. So now we're down to eight spare laborers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking just a monstrous stockpile for overflow from this. We mainly need stone. Uh, but I don't see any way to like configure this so that they won't get one or the other. Seems like whichever one of these they hit the limit on, then work stops and everybody goes home. So we're doing really good on ore. Well, ore and iron. Uh, either that or just say screw it and do a different type that's just for stone. That's for iron and coal. That's a stone collector. Oh, nice. This is for stone and salt. And upgraded versions allow the ground to be reclaimed on removal. So it's not as permanent as some of our other options. Oh, the industry mine looks amazing. Oh, I totally forgot about the placer miners. I wonder how efficient they are. We build a tiny quarry, tiny mine. Oh, a marble quarry. I hadn't noticed that one before at all. Yeah, I think our best option is going to be the salt and stone mine. 
And the question is, where the hell do we want to put it? Probably just right underneath these, huh? Since this is already going to be all noisy, nobody's going to want to um, live around it. What is your shape? Like, where is your front? That's pretty cool looking. I don't think it has anything I would call a front. Trying to think of where the roads are going to go on the mountain, too. So I don't think that that's close enough to mess with these, well, eight houses, but I don't really know. Might be, might be too close. I'm going to pause all of these. So I feel like we're seriously overexpanding here. Since we build two um, homes at a time. Maybe not this last one. Just so that the people working in those fields do have an option to move closer. Hmm, how much white mulberry am I really going to need? And I'm also curious what the um, uh, sale value is on them. White mulberry, white mulberry. That one's peaches, so let's do you hazelnut and you peaches. So we are dangerously low on food. May have to set up a butcher. We'll finish that guy out too. I don't know, maybe not. Now that we put in so many extra fields, we just gotta get by. I think I'm going to have to wait until they build that damn thing so that I can put the road in. It's so hard to see through the trees without any sort of, uh, you know, outline that stays around. So no incoming trader at the moment. Very low on food. I don't see anybody actually starving yet. Oh, did I not have people assigned to this one? Oh, okay, and we built that one. Sweet. <laughs> so we should be able to go up to 12. That'll leave us with four, no, three laborers. And we're gonna get a hell of a lot more meat coming in. Give them a little pathway so that they can get to work easily. That looks kind of neat. The duck ranch, or the duck pasture. Jeez, we're still only at 30 of 54 though. Come on ducks, make sweet whoopee. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. Right now I'm exporting like all of our wool coats. I set it kind of high. We have 55 right now and I think I set it at 100. So we don't have any for our people to wear at the moment. Yeah. Let's bump that down to 60. Just to get um, some of it in storage so that our people can wear it. And then whatever overage we have, we'll move on out. 54 leather now. Oh my gosh, we're rolling in leather all of a sudden. I don't suppose I can employ more people at a tailor shop, can I? It just says it's used to make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. 
Oh no, this doesn't have an arrow. So even if I bump that up, nobody else can work there. Well, we only have a couple of spare laborers and we're going to need them for the mine. Till we get more, uh... Well, <laughs> till we get fewer people dying of old freaking age. We got a merchant. Might be time to put in a general store merchant type thing too. Because there's only a few things that we're really like beelining for at the moment now. Vegetable seeds, blackberries, potatoes. Potatoes is one of the good ones. Oh wait, maybe I'm wrong. I think potatoes is one of the ones that uh, does better in the winter. I keep thinking that soybeans, there's another kind of a bean that I thought was really good too, but I'm not sure. I really can't remember. And I hate to pull the trigger on it when I'm unsure. But as far as the other seeds, I mean, flax is the only one that I'm really tempted for. And I think we're going to try for it, but I don't think I have enough money. Yeah, we're way short. So we have another 440 in flowers. I just need more stuff to trade. 1200 well about $800 short or $700 short as far as what we have right now so you come with me I mean we could throw leather at him we could also throw firewood at him and now that we have both of these working at max capacity that should be okay let's do firewood We don't need to move it all over, but is there anything that we do have that I actually want to hang on to? Not really. So we'll move um, 250. That'll be another thousand. That'll give us 300 over. Oh, and I have spare laborers here. I need to remember to move the extra four people off of that. But uh, for now, I, I do want the extras there so that we can move as much over as fast as possible. Get this trade done. Get them flax seeds, baby. We already got hemp, but we don't have flax. And with flax, we can produce uh, linen, I think, right? Maybe. Sure is expensive. Makes sense though. Got it. Then we got cherry, soybeans, radishes, leeks, blackberries, potatoes, and strawberries. Hmm. I just don't know enough about the extra crops that were added to be comfortable buying into any of them, honestly. So I don't think I'm gonna, but I am gonna leave him up there. Just for now. Then, um... I think we'll let them fill up on firewood again because we've got this thing fully stocked and we've got this one over here fully stocked and we're doing pretty good on um, lumber at the moment. Oh shit, son. Uh, no. Oh no, and I also put two blackberry fields uh, alongside one another in an accident. So switch you over to parsnips for next year. I gotta remember to toggle that pickup thing off. Especially when we have a boatload of laborers. Uh, let's go move these dudes out. Uh, 
that last one can uh, whoop, wrong hole that last one can keep moving the firewood over we're down to 112 in our storage but hopefully uh, production will ramp up so I'm just keeping an eye on our wood and it's looking okay all right, so let's get some more laborers back over here. Right now they're laborers regardless, but let's take that down to about eight of 15. And then we should be able to fully stock the stone and salt mine. How are the animals doing? Eight of 20, so we're almost up to half. Sheep are doing fantastic. 35 of 54, still gonna be waiting on them damn ducks for a while. I, I well, I don't know. No regrets. We were able to buy those seeds, but I probably should have tried to buy the six duck that came by on another trader. And I didn't. So you're all out of hemp. Can't do anything. You're making fire bundles from hemp. Um... Tempted to move them over to reeds because we don't really use them for anything else at the moment. We're just kind of trading babies for old folks at the moment. One dies out and somebody has a baby. I'm digging this though. Nice young families with their own places. I need to increase my happiness and then I think we'll really be able to get a population boom. Or we could go for nomads. And why the hell haven't we built this yet? Like we haven't even started working on it yet. I wonder why. I mean, I know we don't have any stone, but um, unless there's some sort of a built-in priority for them to go and, and prioritize uh, like homes that we put down afterward, we put that bridge in quite a while ago. So I would think that all of our available stone when we do have it should have been going toward that. Donut, no. Well, in the meantime here, let's do another stockpile. I want this stockpile to be for coal. Oh, maybe we can do a combo. I guess the most important one is ore. Iron ore. And I might just move it up closer to the smelter. Okay, the minerals one will do coal and ore. I'll throw that in in here. Although that is a good spot for um, some additional homes, isn't it? So that would be a little bit of a waste. I put it in here. We're not using that for anything at all. And then... You guys are doing good. I just didn't have enough farmers assigned. So we weren't working those last two orchards. Thought we only needed 20. Apparently we need 22. Still doing okay on food. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Getting a little bit low on clothing, but that was because we sold it. Tools. We're running into a problem there. We were staying at 50 for the longest time. I don't know, this is definitely the most efficient use of our resources. Um... So am I low on coal? Thinking that might be the problem here. So I'm gonna bump up our iron and our ores limit. And that'll get this working again. And then are we good on the salt mine? Cool. Oh wow. That doesn't use very many workers at all. I'm gonna do eleven on the one, and then we'll fill this guy uh fill this one up with three for the stone and salt mine. 
And since we have so many laborers, we may as well gather up some of this stuff out on the outskirts, too. Uh, not so much the iron, though. Because it's just going to fill up our storage. We don't seem to be able to use it anywhere nearly as quickly as we're producing it. Uh, but if getting more coal out of this doesn't help with our tool production... Yeah, I think that is our bottleneck. It certainly seems to be. We're doing great on logs and iron. Just got to get that coal. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it might warrant a mine of its own. Maybe. And what do I need to... Oh, goodness. So I need actual money money. To be able to reclaim the... Um, the ground under this thing once it's... Um, production limit has been met. Hmm. Alright. Collect all that too. Let's dig a little deeper. I got my shitload of stuff to do, but there's a boatload of them. I want more damn stone. Give me the stone, man. And I'm trying to keep an eye on this little um, stockpile that we put in here. So I'll probably end up throwing more just, you know, somewhere close by around this thing. But not until that one fills up. I might even do just little strips in here. Is everybody going to harvest everything this year? You can do it. I totally believe in you. Oh, I forgot to put the second home in here. Yeah, whoops. Not looking too bad. And I'm kind of wondering if these homes that are down to the south and in the bottom corner might not be a little bit too far away from the main town storage. But I don't think I want to throw in a market quite yet. I am thinking uh, maybe just a tiny little storage barn to get it just slightly closer to them. So they don't have to go quite so far. Then maybe we'll get um, better work production. Holy shit. Autumn 20 was not a good time to be an old person, apparently. We had plenty of workers, so everybody was replaced, but wow. Did you see that shit scroll? Arm of freaking Geddon, man. Out of hemp. And also out of reeds. Eh. I suppose that's actually because I'm moving them over here, and they don't trade for shit. Um... But I don't want to split it. So let's just get that down to zero. Not that we have any, but that way we're not even trying to uh, move them over. So we have three trade sheep. How are we doing on coats? For some reason we haven't moved over all the coats that I told them to. Uh, but I am going to lower that since it's winter. Oh no, your production limit's been met. Wow. Oh, right, because I have them out uh, manually collecting all that stone. Well, I guess for that one, that's not that big of a deal, but let's go up to 500 on it. The reason I say it's not that big of a deal is um, if production stops here, then they become laborers and they're going to help us collect all that stone that, that brought us up to our limit anyway. Are we building that damn bridge? Do you not have a way to get to the bridge? No, you... Got a little path right there. Hmm. What else am I building? I only have two builders, so we might be bottlenecked on it. I don't think so. Yeah, we're not building shit. I 
I mean, he did finish this house and we just put that in there. I don't know. Maybe it bug with the bridge. Maybe we'll just pull that. Get a dirt road going over that way. And then we'll fill this all in with um, more farms. A very abrupt change of season, wasn't it? Did I use a different road? Certainly looks like I did. Whoopsie. If I just lay those over the other one, do you think it'll... Uh, just make it match the rest of them? I don't know if one's particularly better than the other. But it definitely wasn't stone, so... Eh. Ooh, a country road of fallen leaves, too. What you trading? Chili seeds, peppers, walnuts, red mulberry. Now, I know white mulberry... Well, we confirmed the other day that we need that for, um... Uh, for... Silk. Does red mulberry have a specific purpose? Is that one of the important ones for us to grab? I'd also love to grab the coffee. Otherwise, we're, we're pretty good. I don't think we need any of the rest of these unless sugarcane is something that... Eh, who we can? Sugarcane is almost definitely something that we're going to want to grab at some point. Uh, for now, though, we don't have a whole hell of a lot of money. Oh, okay, red mulberries are just food. Thank you very much, Kral. Alright, well, we'll leave him for now. You're doing fantastic on the industrial fuel production. And I don't think I'm going to change anything about you. I think you're looking good. Hunting cabin is at max. I'm just going to kind of go back through what we're doing here and... Double check to make sure that there's nothing that uh, we might want to change up. Everything's looking good in there, though. I'm going to tear that bridge down. We'll pick it, um, an alternative. I'm going to leave him on hardened tools for now. He's doing much better. Now that he has a steadier supply of coal and until we uh, need something to do with that ore. Well, let's go and look through here. Because we've got some people. What other things can we get into? I still have no idea how to make those production block. Or, um... I don't know, I, th I think it's just called building material. I gotta figure that out. Process coal into coke. That's just firewood. That one's firewood. That's firewood. I guess we could throw a coal furnace in there too, as long as we continue to do really well with um, gathering up the wood and everything. already have a bundle shed. Well, and there's a stacks burner. So layered wood or coal is stacked together into piles and burned into fuel from the inside out. It's supposed to be a good store of light f source of light fuel for heating homes. I wonder if that'd be better for us than uh, the firewood. There's just so many damn options, you know? I think this is where I want to be looking. We don't need a sawmill. The two seem to be doing fantastic. Let me just move that so that I can keep an eye on that just because I'm full of shit. Um, a wind-driven sawmill for lumber and firewood. That probably would have been a better way to go than the one that I built. Glassworks should produce glass or glassware from sand and coal. Trying to decide what business or uh, what production line to go into next.
damn it. Oh, no. Production limit for this resource has been reached. Wow. There is food. Yeah, we sure did. Okay, that might be a little too high. I'm gonna double it. 15. Crap, are you gonna be able to cut the rest of those peppers? That's wonderful, though. We'll move all that over uh, for the next trader. I'm gonna have to rotate the field, though, because it doesn't look like he's gonna harvest all of it. Pain in the ass. So I think I'm just gonna switch these around. Hemp, corn, parsnips, and pepper. That should work. Everything should still be spaced out well. And we should be staying fairly even on our different crops. Uh-oh. Got that trader coming in already. Hold on, man. Hold on. I need to take this with me. Over to here. Holy moly. We have a lot of mushrooms. We don't grow mushrooms, do we? Just get them out of the wild, right? Go gatherers. Kicking butt. 126 spare leather at the moment. So I need to switch. Um, the hell is it called? The tailor. From wool coats over to warm coats. And then we'll use leather and wool. Now that we have a decent stockpile. And eventually I think we'll run out of, um, out of the wool. But we... Or out of the leather, but we should still have plenty of wool to switch them back over. I'm really tempted to build an additional tailor. Uh, just for more, um... Wait, is that the same damn coat? No, just for wool coats for export, since we have so much extra wool at the moment. Then our next step is fur coats eventually when we have fur, huh? Cool. Okay, well. We're gonna start making warm coats instead of just wool coats. And I'd imagine that would help with comfort, wouldn't it? Or happiness? So both of those stats are looking a lot better. Just happened to work out that way. I didn't do anything specific to make it happen. Wow, the hunters are doing well too. 940 stored venison. And I would imagine we would have a shitload of fish, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, and we really don't, even with all the fishermen that we have. Alright. So, mulberry leaves. We'll see how much they trade for. And we'll start to move it all over there until we start to get into silk. Uh, we don't make clothing out of silk, I don't think. At least not at the old tailor shop, apparently. Trade sheep. And then I'm thinking peppers. Because we had a really good harvest of peppers and corn. And nothing outrageously abundant over here other than venison. <laughs> the hunters have had a really good year. So, peppers and corn. Oh, I've already got it over here. I don't need to go anywhere. I can just leave this up. We have 1,125. I'm going to move 1,000. And how much corn did we have? 1,500? We'll move all that, too. Anything else? I don't see anything else. 
Uh, potentially flax, I guess. Let's see, we're already in the right tab, I think, for that. Nope, never mind. Do we, what do we want to do with our flax, guys? Do we want to do... I've already got an old tailor. Because we can turn it into oil, but I'm not sure what we do with the oil. And I think we can make it into some sort of, um... Here we go, we can use it at the weaver to make linen cloth and silk out of flax, cotton, and silkworm. So that'll give us linen. Did I leave enough room for a road behind you? Did. Excellent. Yeah, I think that'll be an okay spot for it. And then we'll keep looking. So we got turnips, we got tomatoes, spinach, roots, sugar cane, lime, hops, and mango. Oh my goodness. Horn carrots, blueberry, cucumber. Sweet potatoes, red mulberry, <gasps> cotton. We definitely want to try for that. But do not have anywhere near enough money right now. Well, that's okay. So, 1016. Then another 750 from the sheep. Yeah, we're way too low. Shit. <laughs> uh, but now we can move more wool coats over, I guess. We could actually move all of our wool coats over. Since we're making better coats. If I can find them. There they are. We'll move all of that over. Um, trade sheep. I thought we had some sheep chilling over here, didn't we? Yeah, we have four of them sitting over there. There's another thousand bucks just waiting to be moved. Then we've got all the food that we just told them to move over. So we're looking good on that one. Oh, and another sheep over here. Okay, let's give him a little bit of extra help. And that still leaves us with nine additional laborers. You guys are doing great. Very impressed. Very good teamwork. I better finish my coffee. It's only like uh, five hours old. It's going to taste wonderful, I'm sure. I suppose we could try to sell some furnace fuel too, but because this guy, he's always um, totally finished, but then we're just sucking on our, our wood stockpile even worse, so I don't know if I want to. Uh, how much firewood are we sitting on here? About 274 out of 424 total. Let's bump that up too. That's always been one of my favorite exports. Just because it's so easy and it's worth four. Once we get a general merchant in there, we'll also buy all the wood we can get and then we'll just process it in, uh, for resale. There it is. Move you up to 500. All right, so we got 500 of our pepper over here. Still haven't got all those coats or the other trade sheep quite yet. Okay. Now we're up to 10, so I think we've got it. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're good. We don't even have to spend any firewood. And we want your cotton seeds. Got them. Sweet. So that was a really productive day. We got all of our hemp stuff. We got all of our flax stuff. We got cotton seeds. We've got cows going. We've got some sort of a bird. It's only ducks, but hopefully it'll work out. I don't know. I think they're all the same. We just want a good source of um, f uh, feathers for later for export. Hey, what's up, Buzzcat? We got a full pasture of sheep. And we should probably split them off, or at least some of them off, and start on a second uh, pasture of sheep, and then build another overflow pasture uh, somewhere, I don't know, maybe down here. A little bit past that. We've got salt coming in, so that's actually something that we should look at now. Uh, what can we use this salt for? Bryce's butcher, huh? Butcher shops, we've got tinneries. Oh man, if I had the resources for that, these tinneries look amazing. Just take something that we produce a ship pile of, like our, our peppers and everything, and tin them up for resale. We do have cows, but um, I need a milking barn first, I think. Uh, to get the get the milk so that we can use it in a creamery. Now one's got a circle around it. Does that mean that people are happy if they live around a milking barn? It's not a red circle. Wonder if there's a smaller option. Dairy parlor. Buttercream and cheese for milk. No, I need the milk. Oh, you think so? The cow needs to be within that circle? That would make sense. I could see that maybe be anything. I would think that they would just pull the cow out though. And then we have an old dairy. Ah, uh, excellent. Look at that, like a fucking glove. Oh wait, I can move that even closer, I think. Yeah, I can move that up one. So if I can move that up one, won't this fit? Oh, I see. The road connections are at the ends of the barn. Okay, that's fine. We'll get the old dairy. Ye old dairy. Doesn't really matter with this one if it's one back or one forward, but if I have a one forward, then everybody can walk on the road to get to it. Can't quite put it in sideways, though. So that's one problem taken care of. Hmm. I don't have wheat, so I don't think I can do flour with anything that we have right now. Uh, bakery produces bread, cake, and pie from flour, water, eggs, and or apples. Up to two bakers can be employed to produce pre uh, bread, cake, or pie. Ooh. We need wheat. Hmm. And then I think the butcher shops, I'm pretty sure the way that they work, um... When we get like venison and whatnot, I think they process the venison, but I'm not sure. They might take the cow and actually butcher the cow and then rather than the cow producing meat, it produces like several different things. Salting house. 
Here's a variety of fresh food for preserving. Ooh, I wonder which one's better. Because we could alternatively do a smokehouse. We've got the salt. So that was what we came in here to find is, um, you know, where do we want to go there? Make preserves such as jams and pickles out of fruits and vegetables. Jams need sugar from the sugar house. Pickles need spirits from the distillery. And we also need glassware. Damn. So we won't be doing that today. Bakery. Cleaning and sorting of vegetables. Garden workplace. Hmm. We've got room. I'm going to throw one of these out here. I want to see what it does. It's adorable. Just put one of those up there. Oil press is pretty big. So is that one. Oh, that one's nice and cute. That's a baby. Uh, I can't fit it in there, but I could probably put it on the backside over here if we wanted to try it. To make vegetable oil. Ah, I could probably have been making oil with that this whole darn time. Thank you for the host, Sam Van. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic night. Had a good stream. We're getting into a, a really weird realm for me in this game. Playing some Banished and we're actually doing okay at it. So now I just don't know where to go. <laughs> Usually I'm going from disaster to disaster. Just throw an oil press in there. So at the moment I'm just kind of going through this huge collection of mods looking at all the amazing options that we have doing pretty good feeling a little bit older turned 37 yesterday other than that doing pretty good and i can't decide on the salt house or the smoke house yet so i think i'll wait and i'll put um, a little bit more effort into looking it up and this is a campfire for roasting nuts yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, thank you, Sam. Very true, but I don't know. I feel old. Doesn't have a circle around it. We should be able to put it wherever the hell we want. I hate that stockpile being there, but it has turned out to be rather handy. I really ought to break that down though and put in independent, like individual specific stockpiles. Hmm. Well, all of our nuts are hazelnuts right now, and we get them mostly from there. These two are mulberry. Uh, I think two of these are fruit, and then two of them are hazelnuts, and one of these two is hazelnut too, I think. So I don't think being down here ought to be too big of a deal, but. Then I'm going to want to put in that stockpile that I've been neglecting to add. I think that'll work. And now we know for sure that we have enough room for a path on both sides. Sweet. Oh, no problem, man. I'm about to head out, too, to be honest. I'm sure you guys can hear the dog barking out there. Time to go and make some dinner. Ah, uh, you know what? I totally fucked up. I was supposed to make a brisket today. <laughs> it's just like a six-hour process. I totally fucking forgot. So, and I haven't seasoned the steaks. I think tonight we're going to do... Because I've got some sausage... I think I'm going to do a soup. That'll only take about half hour or so. Shit. Well, crap. I better head out. <laughs> Damn it. But we're going to play more tomorrow. Yesterday was, uh, was our weekend. So we'll be back. We'll throw today's um, playthrough up on YouTube tomorrow in the morning. And uh, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun. I'm really liking the Mega Mod. I... It's definitely challenging, and it's overwhelming. There's just so many fucking options, you know what I mean? Like, 
I could sit here, and I probably will tonight. Um, I'm going to sit here and try to go through this and learn a little bit more about what our options are going to be so that I don't have to go and look um, so frequently and for so long at, you know, what's the next step in the process. Even then, though, I mean, I would imagine you can get quite a few playthroughs in this before you really get totally comfortable with it. But, like, uh, so on, on the requirements for these, those two extra resources behind the lumber, I have no idea what those are. So I'm also going to go and check out the wiki for Mega Mod and for uh, Colonial Charter, some of the bigger ones, and see if I can figure that out, too. See if I can get a better grasp on it. Make goat cheese. I don't have any goats. Can we make sheep cheese? I don't think we can. <laughs> what do we call it for the night? I'm going to go get started on dinner, and we'll be back. Uh, I think... I think that goes in at our normal time tomorrow, so we should be right on time. About, um... What? Seven hours ago? From what time it is right now is when we'll get started tomorrow. And fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be moving to an earlier stream soon. Uh, just gotta wait and figure out what's going on with the job bid. So, alrighty guys, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out again. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.